are my eyeball? Why? Why? Why was it fine before the stream started and now it is leaking? Dares. Hey, Harvest. To dare is to dream. Ah, oh, get out of my eye, whatever you are. Eh, it's probably... I washed my face before the stream, so it's probably some of the stuff I put on my face. Damn it. The thing? Yeah, I did see the thing. I thought I responded to it. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. I gotta watch it. Hey, Clonowack! Thank you for resubscribing! Welcome back to the fold! I gotta- hang on, I gotta get- uh, All the way over here. I gotta get it, cause my eyeball... ...is just being a jerk. Stop foaming! Oh, okay. <laughs> And Joey, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the fold. Enjoy your dancing. And Frank, <laughs> thank you also for resubscribing and welcome back to the fold. Is my eyeball infected? Oh, no, sorry. I just got, I think I got some, I put some oil on my face. I think I got oil in my eye, which is why it doesn't like sting. It just like lightly burns and it's trying to like get it all out. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, you're all you're all so beautiful and meaningful to me. <laughs> the MIDI controller for yourself and some gray markers. <laughs> I think that oh now it's happening to the other eye. God damn it! Why was it why was it okay for like the ten minutes before the stream started? Be careful about washing your face. Let it be known. People do look at you and start crying. Out of the beauty. At least my right eye seems to be fine now. Knock on wood. Anyways. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for the beginning of the stream to be like, let's all look at Kara's eye having issues. This is not what I wanted. How is everybody doing? Yeah. I'm having, it's a real sleepy day. Probably because it's like cloudy outside. Whenever it's cloudy, everybody I know that is in Seattle gets really tired and very unproductive. And it's amazing the, the spell that is cast over everyone versus like on a sunny day, everybody has lots of energy. And I think it's amu amusing because like none of us are going outside, but the effect still holds. Hey, volumes. Thank you, Frank. I hope everything with your, with your house remodel refinishing building on is going well i hope everything's going well it's far too hot you slept most of the day on and off oh that sounds nice season one of killing eve in two days i've never seen or heard of killing eve it sounds like a horror no choice but to be productive today so you're pushing through it that is fair hey george i gotta be productive today after the stream i gotta get to where i want to be on my current uh did you know gaming project Ugh. hey brooke <laughs> oh that's so cute i hope you have a fun time taking selfies thank you for resubscribing and welcome back to the fold thank you for your twitch prime your will is stronger than the clouds. That's fair. We are all fighting against the clouds today. But I'm so sleepy and I just want to lay down. But you know when you're like that type of tired that sleeping doesn't fix it? You're just like existentially tired. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, man, I really want to like lay down. But I know if I do, I'm not going to be able to actually sleep. And it's not going to recover me any energy. So what do I do? A show about a female spy and the female assassin she's tasked to find and their mutual obsession with each other? Where is this? Where is this show found? Hey, Yellow Ring. I hope you'll have a good time prepping when the time comes. You'll put your cloud in the dick. <laughs> hey, JXC. Aw, oh, thanks for popping in. I appreciate everybody popping in even though you guys gotta go do other stuff. I appreciate that. Pretty much constantly? Yeah. That's fair. It's been re it's been recently it's been pretty constant and I want it to go away. But my body is inflamed and it won't calm down no matter how much tea I drink. Oh, BBC and AMC? Uh maybe it'll that means it'll probably come to like Hulu. Cuz I'm a cool bean. Opening your park? Oh. Yes. 
Yes, I hope you can prep yourself very well mentally and physically and emotionally for that. That sounds like a really rough time. Hey, Reptile. Good to see you again. We're all we're we're gonna chill stream today, partially because I'm super low energy and partially because um, this can't be a long stream. Actually, I need to set a timer, but this shouldn't be a long stream because I need to, you know, go be responsible after this. I need to go be a responsible adult. Uh, not that I'm not usually a responsible adult, you know? I feel like I need to say that. I need to clarify. I am very responsible. You know, being responsible is one of those things that the more somebody says that they are, the more that they're like, I don't know about that. If you were so responsible, you wouldn't have to say it so much. And like, based off of my sleep schedule, maybe you guys should doubt my claim that I am a responsible person. Okay, I put an alarm. So when four hours passes, we'll know to end the stream. Most overpowered athletes in video, ga in video games. Hey, Jenna. And hey again, Dawn. Responsibility is no fun. Responsibility, I honestly, I really highly value responsibility in my life and in other people. But, uh, you know, I like boring things, generally speaking. Like honesty and uh, respecting other humans. Boring, lame. The shopping cart test? What is the shopping cart test? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Everybody get out of here. On Hulu. Okay, okay, cool. I have my friend's Hulu account that I can use. I believe, I, I would think that most of you guys here would prefer to be responsible. I think we overall have a responsible chat because you guys hold yourselves very well and are very you guys are like always very nice in chat and if i ask you not to do something you don't do it so that uh, speaks well of the general responsibility in here do i return the cart to the right place or just abandon it in, in the lot i i return it to the right place yeah i'm one of those people but you know it's just because like I'm not about to go making, like, minimum wage workers' lives harder, <laughs> you know? That's really all it is. It's like, if we're in a restaurant, I'm gonna clean up my little table. Like, I might as well. These people aren't getting paid a lot. It's fine. Who doesn't return carts? <laughs> um, people who think that it's the, their job to go pick up the carts. It's so dumb. It's a very stupid thing. Also, since some of you guys weren't here for book club, I chopped like four inches off of my hair. Ah! And if, with a three-year-old and six-month-old baby? Oh, I'll try to be less profane. <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits. Here, I'm wearing sweatpants again, but I wanted to show you guys. I cut my I cut my hair. So my hair used to be like down to here, and I cut like four inches off so that it's like not all wispy at the ends anymore, and it's like a lot shorter. But now my hair's a lot curlier. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for the 300 bits and letting pumpkin prance for the kiddos. Did I cut my hair on stream? I did not. I used like regular regular kitchen scissors first of all and then I like didn't know what I was doing it like honestly nobody would have been impressed it, it, it's fine <laughs> it's fine so many split ends yeah my hair my hair was just getting tangled up in each other so much and like curly hair is just a nightmare when it's tangled you have to stand in the shower and, and untangle it because you can't untangle it in real life or it'll get poofy Anyway, so I just chose to chop all the dead ends off, and now the ends are like actual curls instead of weird wisps of hair. It's nice. Leave enough for the hairdresser to fix? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I've been thinking about that because I keep seeing Zek specifically. Well, like, I have this thing about hair in my face, and so Zek, it doesn't seem to bother Zek that their hair is in their face, but I also like have, I like look at them, and their hair is getting underneath their glasses in their eyes, and I'm just like, <laughs> are you gonna do something about that? Like, it's fine. It's not, it's not, it's it's your hair. It's not mine. But also, I just, it's like, it's bothering me so much. <laughs> Detangle it out of a shower. Yeah, that is what I do. It's just that it usually takes me about 30 minutes to detangle it. 
for real. So I just don't detangle it unless I have to. But now I can. Now it'll actually be easier because the split ends aren't going to be causing as many um, knots. Nearly had bald sides. Too far with the clippers. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that much about cutting hair and it's, you know, it's obvious at this point. I need to get, I need to get actual hair cutting scissors though because I, I, I only cut my hair. I don't go to hairdressers anymore because they don't know how to cut curly hair and they keep messing it up and it's like 50 bucks and then I don't even get what I want and it's stupid and like I keep being like, no, don't feather it or no, don't. And they just like do it anyways for some reason. And this has been my experience across like eight different hairdressers. So I just gave up and I want to cut my hair by myself now. So I need to learn how to do it a little bit and I need to get actual hair cutting scissors, but that sounds like a lot of effort and right now I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Curly hair life, you respect it. You compulsively brush your hair to, to try to keep it under control. I used to brush my hair all the time when I had straight hair as a kid. My hair hasn't been this long since I was, well, it has been this long because I had to grow it out. But when I was a kid, I had hair that was about this long, but it was all straight. So it was... It was actually like a little shorter in length, but the curls make it the same length. And like, it feels really weird because I feel like I'm 10 again with this with this length of hair, except I don't have bangs. I used to have bangs as a kid. I could straighten my hair. Oh, that's something we could do. That could be a goal. I've been trying to think of like goals for the stream. There was the Twilight Princess play a Twilight Princess game one. And now there's a, I'll straighten my hair. Goals for what? I don't know. What goals are we trying to reach? I don't know. <laughs> Not permanently straighten my hair. God, no. God, no. I love my curls. <laughs> but every, like, once every, like, two or three years, I like to straighten my hair just so that I can, like, run my hands through it. Endlessly. It's so fun. Because the curly hair, you can't run your hands through it. You have to run your hands around it. And you're also not actually supposed to touch it. So don't listen to anything. Don't be like me. The heat damage. Yeah, I know. The heat damage. That's why I don't I don't straighten my hair very much. Because curls, you can't damage the curls. You can't do it. Oh, God, no. Yeah. I just meant literally, like, straighten it with a straightening iron for one stream. That was what I meant. Like... Because I look like a different pe person with straight hair. Because, like, honestly, it looks... I think I look really weird with straight hair because I'm already really tall and I have a long neck and I've got, like, a thin face and then you put really straight hair, like, and it gets flat when it's straightened. So it's just straight and flat and there's no bangs and no differentiation and I just feel like I look really weird. But I also look a little bit like Zoe Saldana. So, you know, pro-con. <laughs> I have, like, a picture on the internet somewhere of me having straight hair and that's like the most anybody's ever seen it and then like i straighten it once and then i leave it that way for like three weeks as long as possible because i'm not gonna do it again and it also takes like an hour hmm your hair can't decide i posted it in the stp discord there you go there you go man i guess stp was around back then Straight hair while playing Twilight Princess. Alternate universe Kara who is enjoying Twilight Princess. <laughs> Mecky Sanders, thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. Even though we're not actually playing the game that I said that we would play. I'm gonna get my controller. Uh, I do like that it's gonna be a lot easier to keep my, cause this is me, this is like how curly it is after me rewetting it earlier today. It's still a bit damp in places. But like, it's pretty, I'm, I'm satisfied with it is all I'm saying. It's been a while since I've been like happy with my hair, partially because getting sick affects the quality of my hair. <sighs> so what is Harvest Moon like? I'll show you. Let me get that for you. But it's gonna take me a couple seconds, so like, feel free to do whatever you want. Uh huh. If you could pick up the game. 
right, I'm going to pause this because some music's going to come on and it's going to be a little strange when it does. Let's see if I can just get OBS. There it is. I need to edit. Ooh! Thank you for letting the BitPony ride. That might be a bit too loud for you guys. How's that? Is that audio good? Let me just do it that way. Do it that way. Whee! Okay, so now it should work. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joey. Alright, this is Harvest Moon! Alright, can you guys hear it? It's all working very well for you. It is an old game, Volumes. It's super old. Oops! Clicked on the wrong window. There we go. Is this fish farm? Yes, it is still fish farm. This is the one that we had to restart. Ugh. Joey, it's so funny because right before I started this stream, I was thinking about how you were saying that like the stream days don't overlap with you. And I was thinking about it. And then you're here. <laughs> once and no more than once, in fact. I think that the lady should come today. She, she, she had better freaking come today after everything we went through to get her. Oh, you usually work Tuesdays. So we stopped right after the festival where she was to come. You usually sleep in the afternoon. Do you work late? Snap, crackle, plop. Raise crispies. <laughs> yeah. It is that one. I, uh... All right. You guys stay there. Whoops. Nope. Anyone see red lately? I have not. Been playing Animal Crossing. I mean, that's fair. I just wanted to clarify. I knew you worked later. I wasn't sure exactly what time. weird. He shouldn't be able to do that. There should always be at least a not fake. At least one. Alright, is this is this girl... How do I... Controls. Cheers, Harvest. Hype memories. I was so hype. Everything was so hype. Back then. Oh, yeah! Okay, yes. She made her she made her shop. Cool. Perfect. That is what we want. All right, let's get everything watered. I can't wait until we have a silver watering can. CJ and kicks. Yeah, this game is a wee bit slow. To be fair, you're slower when you're holding a tool out like we are. Basically epic. Oh. Oh, we should not be running this fast. I think the running speed cheat is on. But that's fine, right? Nobody's going to be mad that the running speed cheat is on, right? This this speed is not... You're, this is too fast for what the game wants. <laughs> Here you go. Spell. It's a spell. Alright, did we? I should probably get another chicken egg. Anyways, let's go see Lila. This is definitely the cheat. This is, I mean spell. This is definitely a spell. We are not sp- we, you do not normally run anywhere near this fast. This is crazy. I feel like a- I feel like a freaking race car. Look at me go. I can bob and weave. Look at me go. This is abnormal. Alright, 
All right. This is this is her shop. No, George, no. We're just being cute. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to the Hardy Lila! Hardy Heart Lila? We have a number of beautiful Flower Bud Village gifts. Please take your time and look around. Heart! We mainly sell specialties of this village, so we're relying on items that you ship, Kara. Oh, no pressure. Please come to my store anytime! She is very pretty. She had a thick southern accent. Hey, girl. So she has the yarn, which we're gonna need. And she's got, like... She's got, like, all this stuff that is good to give to people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look well today. See you later. It's the kind of cheerful but calm personality she has. She's so calming, but she... I feel like if, if Lila was always around me, I'd fall asleep. La, 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 la. You do have to talk to people every... Is this a cutscene? No. You do have to talk to people every once in a while, or they will leave. Ada! I'd say Georgia. I'd say I'd say Georgia is better. What were our goals? Even what were we doing in this game? We were trying to get the blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna buy an egg. I'm gonna double check about what festival is coming up that I need to be wary of. I need this good egg. And I also need a sheep. How much money do I got? 6,000 bucks! I'm gonna get a sheep. Hey, Suihaku! No, I said Suihaku, I did not say Siri! Um. Oh! All right, what should we name our horse friend? What should we name our horse friend? Ho... 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 Oh? Hey, Dory near hello! Thank you for the 300 bits and letting Pumpkin Prance. She's currently asleep on her window seat. Name her Yas? No! Hoagie? Hoagie? Hogarth? Why? Hogarth! Come here, Hogarth! This is our legendary racing horse, Hogarth. Um... Maybe we should name it something slow. So it's ironic, like molasses. Soup? Why soup? Oh, oh! Maybe we should name it Bit Pony. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Harvest. Soup is funny. Agro is the best horse in the name. Bit pony? Okay. I like Bit Pony. Bitsy! Yeah, let's name her let's name let's name her Bitsy. That's cute. Alright, Bitsy. Can I also have a lamb? Hell yeah. Oh god. Oh my god, what are we gonna name? What are we gonna name the sheep? Demon eyes? Do sheep have demon eyes or is that just goats? 
Is Bitsy the Bit Pony's true name? The Bit Pony reveals her true name to no one. Lamb Chop Bully, I'm not gonna name my sheep after food. That's rude. Oh, maybe soup though. As long as it's not lamb soup. Demon Eyes like the minus sign, yeah. Oh! All right, Cece's gonna get to name the character. What are you gonna name it, Cece? Turtle soup. <laughs> Why? This music is so... This music is like very much like white people like having a dance party in the 1950s. <laughs> Barbara! Alright, I gotta make sure that that fits. I gotta have it in an appropriate number of... Let me see how many characters we got. A lot. So you said one, two, three, four, five A's. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> ba, ba. Ba, ba. <laughs> Remove as needed. I mean, we could do more A's. Oh, did I forget an R? I did forget an R. Barbara. Inside of a turtle shell? Putting the Barra in Barbara. All right. Well, now we have all of the animals you can have in this game. We gotta feed them all, though. That's the only bad part. <laughs> -na -na. I'm gonna go grow another. Let's get them all out here if we can. All right, I need to go get another tool. <laughs> she didn't want people to think of her in that way, as Bara. It goes against her Oscar-worthy image. Barbara Streisand's an, uh, an Oscar person, right? I don't know celebrities. You're gonna save up for the names? <laughs> Tony's are more her thing. Uh, what's the difference? Is Tony for TV? I. Alright. I'd be the worst person to live in LA because I'd like see famous people and just not know that they were famous people. I'd be like Todd with that one story that he tells about serving a famous person at GameStop who he did not recognize until after she left the store and he Googled her. <laughs> Get your butts out of there. It was, um, oh gosh. Oh God, God damn it. I can't even describe her because she's a white lady. She's been in movies. Was she the one who played, hang on, let me, let me check. Spider-Man. Uh, was it Kirsten Dunst or was it somebody else? I'm not sure if it, I don't think it was Kirsten Dunst, but it was a lady who looks like Kirsten Dunst, but an actual celebrity still. I just, honestly, I can't, I genuinely can't tell him, Bart, I'm so sorry. It's a white lady. She's been blonde and a redhead. Looks like Kirsten Dunst. I think she might be the one who has her own weird Reese Witherspoon. Yes! Thank you. It's her. It was her. Several years ago. Alright, eat your food, everybody. I'm gonna need more grass. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy more grass. 
I forgot that she's in Legally Blonde because in my head she's a redhead, but in Legally Blonde she's a blonde. Yeah, Todd, like, didn't recognize her, so he went up to help her, and she was just, like, laughing at him the entire time because, ostensibly, he says, because it it had just been that long since somebody tr tried to help her and didn't know who she was, and so she was just, like, tickled pink by this interaction with, with Todd as a GameStop employee. I imagine that if you were, like, super famous, that would be, like, one of the most refreshing things to happen to you in a day, you know? Just, like, being able to go a place and nobody recognizes you and, like, being treated like a human for a second. Oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> I'm not sure, but you should sing it louder. I don't think she got anything. She went in with, like, a family member or something. So I'm not sure if they ended up purchasing something. I feel like, I feel like probably celebrities get those kinds of interactions so often. They can probably tell when somebody recognizes them, but is pretending not to. But I bet they still appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to spoop you. I'm not, y'all, I'm not coming after you. I'm just, I'm just getting you guys more food. I thought you would be happy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I believe you, Chase. Hey, JL! Thank you for resubscribing! Welcome back to the fold! I would prefer it um, if it were me, but only if I were a mega celebrity. When you're like a tiny baby celebrity, it's fine. Or at least I'm fine with it. I got recognized in an Asian food store once. It was amazing. <laughs> this is like a while ago. This is back when Asagao first came out before I was streaming and like nobody should have recognized me because I was like, I wasn't putting my face on things. And somebody, like, recognized me and was like, Hey, I know you! And I was with my friend from Kansas who was coming to visit me, and I was just like, You do? I'm not sure we've met. <laughs> Please don't scream at me. If I say it, don't scream at me, I feel like you're gonna do it. So famous. Oh, you know, I'm so famous. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm fine being, being not famous. I don't want to be famous. I've seen what being famous is like. It's not fun. I don't want to be famous. I mean, except for like the money. That part's nice. And like, you know, the power to make other people's dreams come true. But aside from those two things, You're just annoying. Oh, you respect people's boundaries. Am I back to where I was? Yes, we are. You're correct, Kate. Nothing did happen. You're picking up you're picking up the ways of the stream so fast. Hi, I have a branch for you, sir. I am so caring. I'm so caring that I'm giving you a branch. That's how caring I am, old guy. Gotta find you. Hey. It was stressful. Why were people like being like, hey, saw you on the newspaper today. Yeah. Everybody likes branches. 
Two meters apart, please. Yes. All right, where's our angry boy? Ah, there he is. Hey, angry boy. I also have a branch for you. Oh, I lied! I only picked up two branches! Hey, angry boy, I found a branch for you. <laughs> Whoops! You'll sneeze directly in my face and pour flour everywhere to mark, like, sneeze, but also have a palm of, a, like, palm full of flour in your hand so that where the flour goes, I know that also your sneeze has gone. You're going to give me a very tiny cat? I would love that. <laughs> I would love that, Violet. I guess what I'm saying is, this is me saying that if I'm out in a public place, feel free to say hi. Unless I'm, like, out in a public place and also doing something that is super embarrassing. Like, if I'm, like, if you meet me at a hospital and I'm getting, like, an endoscopy or something. Like, maybe, maybe not then, but I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys are doctors and are trained to do that, that kind of thing. <laughs> that would be uncomfortable. Or when someone's eating. As long as I haven't just taken a super huge bite. Because then I'm like... <laughs> but you know what? I, I feel like if that's what happens, if someone comes up to say hi to you, anybody, and you have a big mouthful of food in your mouth, then they deserve it. You know, they de you're going you're gonna to talk at them with your mouth full, and that's what they get. They could have waited. That's the price. Now I'm gonna- I don't need to sell herbs anymore to get any new characters, so now I can hoard them and give them as presents to make people love me. And pretend to not know I'm famous. Ugh. Oh, thanks, my fame is such a burden. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> I will spit it back in your face and <laughs> be the worst meeting of a person ever. Blech. Like so. <laughs> that would be so uncomfortable. Hmm. I have to I do have to say that the more uncomfortable time that this has happened is when like I've been out in a place like, I'm meeting strangers, but I'm meeting strangers who are not related to video games. And, like, one of them faintly recognizes me from somewhere, but doesn't know where. And I'm like, oh, you know, I make some games. And then everybody gets art is like, oh, really? What game have you made? And I'm like, hmm, well, <laughs> uh, it's about dating real people. How do I, like, huh? And the, the reactions that you get to stating that are so varied. <laughs> They're all over the place. Harvest Moon Chillstream Glacier. Yes! Ex oh god, I would love to be eating pizza. I miss pizza so much right now. When you were 10, the, local sc the school told you you're going to be on the front page of a local newspaper about the school. Took you out of lessons and everything. And then told you you were a reserve and made you watch all your friends get- What the hell? That's so mean! You can't do that to a ten-year-old kid! Yeah. I'm sorry, Joey. But there'll be- there'll be something else. There'll be another con to meet at in person. And also, I'm part of a group of people we're discussing, maybe, possibly- Please don't, like, this is not, nothing is set in stone. We have, this is just an idea we're throwing around. But, like, if cons are going to be closed for the rest of the year, we were thinking about having a virtual con and doing, like, panels virtually. So, like, if that happens, you know I'll blast it out to you guys so you can have the, <laughs> the social distancing con experience. Damn, that's a dedication, Violet. Paul Blart Mall Cop 2! 
too. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Thanks for telling me I need to buy land, Kurt. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is what I actually wanted. That was who I was hoping was coming, not Kurt. Who cares about Kurt? We got the blacksmith. Let me see if I can go talk to the blacksmith. I don't know when the blacksmith shop opens. Hey, babe. Nope, they're closed. Today? Of course they're closed on when today is. Damn it. Hi. 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 Where'd, where'd my tiny chick go? Oh, over here. Hey, boo. Oh god, you're so loud every time. What virtual cons would come out, or how they would come out? Yeah, I'm curious about that as well. Like, would it just be like... a Zoom call, but that we stream and everybody can be in the audience? I don't know. Yeah, there's some questions there, but... But that is something that is being entertained. All right. I'm not. I d have no clue. Mostly because I have no clue how we how we would do this. So if we have need of a moderator, I'll let you know. And, and again, I'm not sure if anything is actually going to happen. But it was an idea we were tossing around. Hi, would you like a berry? Yeah. Fuck you! I just gave you a free berry, dude! Ungrateful. Anything like, no, god, I wish Lily. Ugh. No, it's just the... Honestly, I think he's tiny? I can't thank you enough. That doesn't sound like she was that happy with it. <laughs> Alright, well that was a polite rejection. That's... alright. <laughs> oh good! Are they gonna like... you probably can't hear me, but are they gonna like... come out and fix whatever... Got it. Yeah, so it's a physical problem they can fix. That's good. Where's Martha? I don't know who else I can get in town. Is Martha at the library? I feel like Martha could be at the library. I gotta Google who else I can get in town and whether I need to... Uh... <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's one person I can meet right now. There's somebody else I need to befriend. What do I what can I give him? Oh, berries and herbs. Okay. So I can befriend him with herbs. What about you? All right, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, I guess this is, I guess this is almost everybody. Let me just, let me just double check with the bachelors and bachelorettes, but I think we might be good. Okay. Okay, so there's there's like three or four people we haven't met yet. Uh, as th that we need to like go do something to get, anyways. All right, I guess there's not uh, not as many people in this game as I thought there were. Just like me.
I hope so too, Glacier. I hope so. This is not the time to be without stable internet. <laughs> I need to go find Ronald real quick. Yeah, everybody looks like babies in this game. I, I've never been like that interested in romance in this game because everybody looks like babies. Nice! <laughs> nice! Alright. Tight. That ass is so fat. Good night, Smee. Thanks for coming. Sleep well. Look at that booty. <laughs> I want your love and I want your revenge. You and me can have a baby romance. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm sorry. I found it funny, though. Uh, I'm not gonna date Ronald. Also, you can't date Ronald. <laughs> Alright, I think that I'm gonna meet at least one person here, possibly two. Knows. He's a poser. Oh, hello! This is a very beautiful place! It's full of nature and calms my soul! Oh, I'm sorry, my name is Henry! I'm a wandering artist who travels and paints. Nice to meet you! I'm just giving him an any accent. It's just a accent. I don't believe that he's French. Is that so? You're a farm owner! Well, if I see you somewhere in town, please give me a wave. This is not German. Alright, let me see if I- No, it isn't! Girl, I am German! <laughs> hey, Markitin. There's supposed to be somebody else that we can meet, but maybe I- maybe it has to be like a sunny day or it's too early. There's another bachelor. Henry's not a bachelor. Thank god. I firmly disagree. I lost my German accent long ago. Hey, Admiral! Bum bum bum. You guys said tonight, but I did not jump to. Uh, can't you feel the love tonight? I jumped to like, I'm dreaming of tonight, or is it waiting for tonight? Oh, when you will be here in my arms, waiting for tonight. Oh. Shout out to anybody who remembers that song. That's old <laughs> school. Mm. Yeah, I had it on a CD that my dad made for me when I was young. Mm. All right. It's a good. It's a good song. I like it. That CD that my dad gave me of these like old, old, old songs. It's great, because it's just like NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, some Britney Spears, some old like dance beats that were not appropriate for the age that I was, but I can jam out to them now. <laughs> uh, ooh, Martha. Hey girl, hey, I need you to make me a bigger rucksack. That's fair. That was the for real attitude back then. Hologram tour web. Yeah, I should just do a virtual concert. It'll be incredible. It will sound so good. 
Somebody like, somebody figure out how to feed auto tune into my microphone, please. <laughs> hey, here you go, Kurt. Have we found any? There's still some bachelors that remain to be seen, but have we found any that like we like yet? I also gotta get more of my notes. Cooking note, island note, rock climber, night owl. I just gotta befriend people. I gotta start making notes about who I who I can give what. All right, let's make some notes about who I can give what. All right, let's let's see here. Kurt, Woody, and Joe. They get branch. Um, Doctor likes herbs. Martha likes flowers. Um, what do they have 69 of? Oh, that's Jamie. Jamie is your rival. Jamie is the opposite gender, depending on which gender you prove you choose to play. And yeah, there you you fight against Jamie. Lavender. 640 plus hours. Dang! Nice use of that game. Lavender, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the fold. Just carrying branches. We gave one to Woody. I gave one to Kurt. Where's Joe? Are you in here, Joe? Hey, Zis. Zis. Ah, Joe. You're not slacking off like Kurt was. Oh, and Ronald. I need yeah. to give Ronald herbs. All right, let me see which other bachelors there are and what I can possibly give them. Bachelors, magical melody. We gotta start seriously considering dating. Ba -da -ba -da. And also the ladies. Too bad they're not Joe E. Vibrating into the floor. All right, let's see. Purple herb, green herb, tomato, flowers, gold. Okay, so basil, we can all, so many people like herbs in this game. Damn, all right. Purple, green, herb. Flowers for basil. What is blue like? Blue likes potatoes, milk, good egg. Um, good egg. I'll just put the good egg. Just the egg. I can spend that money. Hey, Cobalt! 13 is the lucky number. Shout out to the lurkers and the VOD squad! Is there a VOD squad? That's so cute! I love that! Cobalt, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the fold. And yes, shout out to the lurkers. I know you guys are in there. Thank you for, for watching and lurking. I appreciate you as well. I can give Bob... I can give Bob eggs. And ores. Everybody loves eggs. What about you, Carl? Carl likes... Berry, apple, strawberry, orange, pumpkin, egg, milk, butter, pies, herbs, herb tea, all sweets, rare metal, chestnuts, and honey. Carl is easy to please. Basically give Carl whatever the hell you find on the ground. He likes honey. He likes herbs. He likes berries. He likes eggs. He likes milk. Carl is a good bean. Then there's Dan. Dan likes gold ore, wine, apple wine, very berry wine, ores... Berries. Very berry jam. Boy likes berries. Dan gets berries. Then there's Jamie, who I kind of want to ignore. Joe, Kurt. There's going to be a new guy, but he's not here yet. And then there's another guy, and he's not here yet. So, all right. This is a big list. Yeah, you know. Dan's a, you know Dan. You know how he is. tend to watch VODs rather than live since your internet can keep up a little better. That's fair. 
Everybody loves that herb. Dan, you guys know which- Hey, I gotta find Dan and show you him. You guys know Dan, and like, I- uh, Man, I just feel like Dan is very thinly veiled racism, but it's fine. Dan, uh, likes to gamble, has no home, is a wandering vagrant, likes really expensive things, and is brown. Yeah. Woohoo! I wonder how I can rake in some easy money. That's fine, that's not, you know, that's <laughs> problematic, but you know. All right, so who is here that I can currently give eggs? Blue and Bob. And I need to give Basil something. Oh, Japan in 2000. Hey, oopsie daisies. Coopsie daisies. <laughs> It's a good luck! Isn't it? Good eggs. Soon I shall produce my own good eggs. Oh, I'm gonna need more- I gotta- mm, Hang on, I'm gonna go back. I need to buy more feed. Just cause the chickens need feed and I don't currently have a good way of making that feed. So I should probably. Basil likes herbs. Yeah, there. I need more of a supply the more animals I get. We're already good eggs, are we not good enough for you? <laughs> no, you're all good eggs! Good eggs! Hey, Blue. You're kind of a dick, but here you go. I mean, jerk. I like this, but you don't have to give me stuff pointlessly. Oh. All right, Bob should be somewhere in here. Yeah, Dan's not a good look. Hey, Bob. Bob is like, his head is the size of your tiny little body. It's fine. He's a big man, he's Bara. He's very Bara. Hey. You say, okay, so you're into Bob. I love my eggs over easy. Um, like where the yolk is like a little bit cooked, but you can pop it and it still and it still oozes over things. I can't have egg whites, but I love egg yolks. Oh right, I forgot about my actual responsibilities. Oops. I'm not gonna expand my um farm empire until I get the silver watering can because forget this. The story of my life, I'll take you home. Hey, it's your food. You're allowed to be picky. This game is clunky. It's, um, it's like, it was made in like 2000. So it's an early game, but yeah, it's, it's clunky. And it's very slow. Like, honestly, the thing that usually makes me stop playing this game is that if you get a bunch of pets and animals, it starts being really slow to take care of them. That's all right. Don't, don't, don't stress yourself out, girl. We got plenty of time. A wonderful life is a different level of slow. This one is like, the speed is fast, but the, you move so slow. Yeah, I miss that, Dornier. I miss it. All right, so we're switching mo modes from money-making mode to friendship-making mode. <laughs> Hello. Star, 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 star. And pumpkin. Not you, pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin just got fed. 
her afternoon food. She is knocked out. She is sleepy. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to get an iPhone 11, and that's going to be able to view, um, my cat. <laughs> because, like, she's too dark, and Apple's stingy AF and won't give out the night mode unless you buy an iPhone 11 or whatever. So whenever iPhone 11s get real cheap, I'm going to get one so I can take pictures of Pumpkin. Because I'm really jealous of Zek's phone and ha the how great Zek's phone is. And I know I could switch over to Android, but I'm not gonna, so don't even don't even bother. We don't need to get into that argument. Oh, we're so close to the silver. DSLR. <laughs> it's a hard life out there, JL! I mean, but at least I'll get to, like, tell myself that if I get, uh, if I get this new phone, it's a business expense. It's definitely a business expense. I wouldn't actually get to write it off on my taxes, but I would get to tell myself. <laughs> Hello. 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 But you know what, this? That's like the best financial decision you can make, is just holding on to your phone forever. Really. Alright, time to go look for ranches. We need to befriend Woody because if you befriend him, more land gets added for purchase and then you can own all of the land. And you can be a landowner, which means that you get to make all the decisions for the town. Which should be a mechanic in this game. Sorry, Xis. Sorry. Listen, as a self-employed person, I feel you. Dang, Lily! Nicely done! I bet that that's, that that's better. Poopsie daisies. I'm just lazy. I guess it's a good thing, Zis, if you're gonna replace with an iPhone, it's a good thing that they put out the, like budget iPhone that's only like $400 or whatever it is. Here's hoping they continue that trend of like cheap things. There's the main home and the cottage. When you want to modify the home, okay. I can get more houses. Oh, I think we have two hearts with Kurt now. A Nokia? That's also awesome, Joey. That's also awesome. Alright, who do I need to give herbs to? Basil, Doctor...
What the heck? Gerard has donated $125 and says all the love to a wonderful person. What the heck, Gerard? Why, why are you trying to demolish my heart? <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> Thank you, that's so sweet. I hope you're doing well out there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my heart like stopped and full on stopped for a whole second there. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay and holding out well, Gerard. <laughs> oh man, okay. <laughs> Give me a second. It's, it's for the iPhone 11, yeah? The best use of that money. <laughs> uh. Today is like one of those days where I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cry really easily. So then, <laughs> that's why I'm like, no. <laughs> Today's one of those crying days. everybody. Pseudonym, Barry the Dead, Immature Racer, Sabriel Kaitori, Zis, hey, Ed Burya, Rosters, Tweetheart, Core8Z, Saban, HPB, <laughs> Opossum, Zaloc, General Goo Goo, Lawrence Bing, Patty KKX, Reclusive Beekeeper, Garano, Bathon, Bread Riot, Panjan Drum, Space Candy, Pappy Fokker, Hadi Halal, Mac the Genius, Toddly Enough, Briley BD, Fantium, Moon Prism, Marchy, Wesley's Wesley Snipes, Snowy Dino, John Bond, Saysong, Azulu, Papius Plays, Kimo Katoli, TLDR Show, Potatoes Gonna Potate, Kiroloth, Yuna, That Dude, Kita Joe, Stone Key, Robius, Illyrian, Madeline, Matilda, Crying Wolf, Lucas Bean, Curry Fried Rice, and Spooky Pixel. <laughs> And also, and also Gerard's like sniping people in the chat. <laughs> welcome to the fold, Taylico, and also welcome back, Bully Birdie. <laughs> Gerard's just like making it his mission to like snipe everybody right now. Plasmograph, welcome back to the fold. If anybody is new to the fold and would like to come join us in the Discord, please do so. It would be awesome to see you guys in their sub-only chat. It's happened. Gerard! He's going completionist on the chat. Good people deserve great things! No! <laughs> Hang on! God damn it! I'm damn it! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh. Ah, now my nose is dripping. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Gerard. You're great. <laughs> Anyways. 
Why did we choose rage over cry? Hey! <laughs> Anorian! Thank you so much for the raid! <laughs> such a such a such a generous giving moment. Welcome, welcome back in. Hey Nova! You heard Gerard was here. Gerard has been here, yeah. Nova, thank you. Welcome back to the fold. Thank you for the Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, Gerard's here. <laughs> uh, the completionist says, "What? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Gerard has given nine subs to the Raiders. So welcome to the fold. How to Cuddle Crows, Motoro, Schroto Baggins, Mag Magna Cronus, Karlov, Mrs. Luigi Vargas, Red Shield Game, Scruffy Looking Gamer, and Orash. <laughs> For the... <laughs> For those who raided. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, hang on, I need to catch up. <laughs> Taylor Code uh, donated twenty dollars. Oh god! What? God damn it! No! Oh god! The hype train! God damn it! I'm like trying so hard not to cry. <laughs> god. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're already at level 5 of the hype train. Surprising nobody. Um, <laughs> Taylorco donated $20. And said, You deserve everything that's happening right now. Which was really nice to see. <laughs> and then, oh my god. Hang on. Hang on, I gotta go all the way back. Zekfrost donated five subs to the community, so welcome to the fold. Feek Tracks, Leah Bear, Bree, Citrus Cat, and Frozen Kappa. <laughs> and Admiral is also gifting 20 subs to the community. So welcome to the fold. Shannon's Corner, Catboy, Malto Seer, Tabif, Fay Films, Bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I hate feelings. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, a Beethoven. <laughs> Mary Pop, Cliff Fable, Master Shutdown, Oro the, the Villain, Looney Boy Streamer, Forever the Beast Miner, Elliot Alua, Sylph of Cat, Bee Diddle, <clears throat> Strange Shy Guy, Winston EXE, Etho is my bae, and Elusive Gore. Hang on, I'm still catching up. And then Harvest donated 10, 10 subs to the community, so welcome to the fold Milkshake Bear, Oron Purd. Jesus, you guys! <laughs> Korok, Shark Tooth Man, Ghost Council, Kino, Puck Java, Ekudrim, Killjoy, and Jazzy. Nat Merrick, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Oro, redeemed and asked me anything to say. Holy crap, thanks for the gift sub. Uh, JL gifted a sub to Casey Was Taken. <clears throat> and Gerard gifted a sub to. Oh, are you guys secretly trying to destroy me? <laughs> Gerard gifted five more subs also. So welcome to the full Jonathan Van Pelt, Mr. Valor, HTTP Paladin, Caracal Lynx, and just Marie ASF Oro. Oh. Thank you, Oro. You didn't need to do that. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, 
Anonymous is gifting five subs as well. So thank you, Anonymous, for uh for for welcoming to the fold Teddy Nugget, Preds fan, T Lin J, Quantum Alt, Colby Tor. Volume is gifting a sub to Psychaki. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm so far behind the chat. I'm still reading, but I'm catching up. And Noriand is gifting five subs to the community of, and also paying forward their gift subs. So welcome, Nintendo fan, for the win. <laughs> um, Fuchsia, Bucky Boops, Ramsau TV, and the Leatherback. And Nova is gifting five subs to the community as well. So welcome, Torn Pixie, Sin Ziek, Razor, Mr. Mr. Fatso. about Mr. Nice Person <laughs> and Babylon. <laughs> Thank you, Nova. God. Okay. 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 Oh, and also, Sin Ziek. Thank you for following. Enjoy her apprentice to appear. Okay, can I have a second? <laughs> Time is past. Like, I spent, like, all five minutes of the hype train reading out the stuff that people were donating to the hype train. <laughs> the attack. Oh my god, it's 1 a.m. in the morning in the video game. Hang on. My girl's gonna pass out tomorrow. I'm just gonna pass out in the middle of this. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm gonna be okay, Yellow Ring. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. My heart is feeling weird, though. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you for the 100 bit story near. Let the bit pony ride. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I thought it was gonna be a chill stream today. I always think it's gonna be a chill stream. Hey, we got the hype train emote! Oh, and we got hype love. <laughs> That's such an appropriate emote. It's fun to make me cry. All right, I won't take that the wrong way. Fine. I'm like, if I clench my eyes as tightly as possible, I won't cry. <laughs> it's like working out middlingly, because then it just goes down my nose. <laughs> Thank you, Norian. That's really nice of you to say. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Thank you, Yellow Ring. <laughs> You're riding the hype train in, in spirit. You're like flying along. You're like, you're gripping the caboose of the hype train and you're like flying along, flapping in the wind. <laughs> Without making me almost pass out because of a hype train. That truly, JL, I do not know. <laughs> well, thanks guys. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I don't know how to continue the conversation. I'll play the video game. <laughs> I'm like, what do I talk about now? It's fine. You know when you get like really aware of yourself? It's, it's happening. <laughs> I'm so aware of my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> on the next one. <clears throat> you skipped leg day anyways. <laughs> Thank you, Harvest. Thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, doo-doo gamer. Tea. I would love to have some tea. I have some tea right here. I like, I don't know. I'm I'm just like, okay, it's fine. I just like, I don't know. It's fine though. I'll drink some water. <laughs> Cheers, not Merrick. My bad. Oh, thank you, Nova. Oh god damn it, no. Cheers, T2. Cheers, JL.
<laughs> staring warily. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I. <laughs> More. Cheers, Nova. I don't know. I don't know. No! No! Hang on! No! <laughs> Look, we got a letter! Read the letter, hang on. Whoop! Oh, we can get furniture and a second house! That sounds cool. Cheers, Lavender. <laughs> <clears throat> Make up for all of the tears. Hey, I'm happy that I'm not, like, blubbering. At least. I've, like, maintained my... But now I just have, like, <laughs> compartmentalized emotions in my chest. And, like, I don't know what to do with them. I, like, feel like I need to, like, say something to, 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 to like, make them, <laughs> to, like, express them. But I don't know what to say. You know the feel? <laughs> Literally, I... I'm so sorry, Joey. 8,000 person raid? No, please don't make me ugly cry on stream. I don't want that to go down in posterity. It gets really bad. Just scream for a bit. That would be so loud to the microphone. I don't know. I feel like I need to, like... It's fine. Normally what I do when this happens is I get up and I pace a lot because I need to like physically move to get it all out, but it's fine. Instead I'm just gonna keep talking and then saying but it's fine afterwards. <laughs> no, I'm fine. It's like it's like a it's a happy feeling that I'm having. I would I would turn off the stream if it was a not happy feeling that I was having. I'm just having like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all don't need to hear about my baggage, but I, that's, it's... Fine. <laughs> See, I can't even begin to talk about it, because if I do, I'm just gonna cry. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> It should not take one this long to recover. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, that was gross. <coughs> yeah, we did get some real ugly cry moments back then. <coughs> It's fine, we did this to you. Hang on, I need to like, blow my nose. And I'm gonna do it by muting my mic. Okay, we good. <clears throat> I think. Cheers, Lily. All we used to do was cry. You don't have to at me. Why did our horse go inside? <clears throat> People absolutely want to see this, apparently. That's always the mood. Harvest is gifting three subs to the community. So welcome to the fold, Walnut Gamer, Dexter D. Lopez, and Continue Show. <laughs> hey, FTC. <clears throat> Not yet. 
You wouldn't call this broken. You're gonna wait until I'm like literally blubbering on stream and that will be broken to you. Being at 47 bugged you. Oh yeah, now you have 50. Congrats on, on the full 50. Damn. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, the pink feather is new. <clears throat> I would like you to go back outside because or else you're not going to be able to get food. Thank you, Volumes, <laughs> for saying that. <laughs> While the voice chat scolds chat for breaking the streamer. Can you ever change the mod symbol? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they let you. Yeah, if anybody who's been gifted a sub this stream wants to join us in the Discord, it's pretty much just like this chat, but in the Discord. <laughs> Please feel free to join us. <clears throat> good, that's good. You don't need to get me there. Yellow ring. Whoop. Honestly, I'm going to do another randomizer soon. <clears throat> I don't know. I now have a I have a small backlog of visual novels that I want to play through. Um to check out. But I can only do I think I can only do one visual novel stream a week just cuz between visual novel and book club my throat's going to die. <clears throat> and I feel like I want to do a randomizer. If it takes me two streams, I want to do it in like in one given week. And then there's Monkey Island, <clears throat> which I was just gifted. We got some games to play. You may call me cry there too, but for a different reason, you bullies. Controller scheme? Um, this is from the GameCube. That's what the controller scheme up in the corner is. Um, the remastered original one? I don't know, I've never really played Monkey Island, so that's why I was gifted it. I bought it. I don't know. <laughs> I, they sent me the link and I, I bought it. My favorite VN? I don't know how to answer that question because I did make a VN, so I don't, like, I feel like I can't answer that question because it's a conflict of interest. <laughs> Plasma. Babylon, thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. <clears throat> you love Long Live the Queen? Long Live the Queen is really fun, yeah. Arcade Spirits is pretty good, especially for people who are nostalgic for arcades. That's a pretty, a pretty great one. Errant Kingdom it ha is coming out now. That's the one that we're going to be playing on Thursday. It's also very cool. You have to slowly get me to Curse of Monkey Island. Yeah, I've also worked on other VNs. I feel conflicted. And I know a lot of people who make VNs and I'm like... <laughs> like asking me which one of my children. The remaster is great. Oh, cool. Oh, um... The server is a private server because I'm, like, scared of trolls. Um, but since you have a feather, you'll be able to link your Twitch and your Discord together through the desktop connection. Uh, if you just were gifted a sub, though, it'll probably take about an hour for the option to appear. Yeah, werewolf! It's a good game. Right, we were trying to make friends, but it's already 6 p.m. because I'm distracted. Let's go make friends! <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
type moon novels? Hang on, let me. Ah, these. Sorry, I didn't mean for that to sound weird. I'm not like, ah, these. But I was like, it had like the list of all the different games on Google. And I was like, oh, these. It's probably the better intonation. We haven't decided yet, werewolf. We have not yet decided, but it's not going to be Dan. No offense to Dan. Um, and it's probably not going to be Blue because I've I've dated Blue before. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. I We are just kind of trying to woo most of them right now. Which is what I was trying to do before I got <laughs> flummoxed. Kurt? I have wooed Kurt before. Kurt's actually not bad. Kurt's a cute tsundere. Like, Blue's like, Blue's like real aggressive tsundere. Kurt's like cute tsundere. Eventually. They have the same personality, basically. Fate stay night, yeah. I would say that, like, at this point, I probably feel more affection for Western VNs in general than Japanese VNs that I've played. But that's just because, like, culturally speaking, I much prefer the writing style of English. Western writing styles, like, directly translating Japanese visual novels over. They tend to be very wordy in a way that, like, grates the writer part of my brain. Not that it's, like, bad writing, it's just I prefer fewer words said. The secret Jamie wrote? Yeah, but if we did the secret Jamie wrote, then that game's gonna end. <laughs> when you marry- spoiler alert, the game ends when you marry Jamie. That's fair. You prefer books to visual novels? That's fair. They're a different form. My favorite games to play and my favorite genres of games. Minecraft, Animal Crossing, Spore, Gary's Mod. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Hey, Mendez. Yeah. Those are some good games. Those are... Because, like, that's kind of my style of games. I like RTSs. I like simulations. So, like, you know... Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, Stardew Valley, those kinds of things. But I also like Zoo Tycoons. I like Civ Six. I like Age of Mythology and Age of Empires. Um, I like tactical games sometimes, like XCOM I do like. I like RPGs, JRPGs, and like certain Western RPGs. It depends on how it's done, but I do like RPGs. And obviously I like Zelda games. And like Animal Crossing. I don't like first person shooters. I'm bad at them and they make me feel sick. Um, I like scary games, but I'm really bad at playing them and I kind of hate playing them, so it's a conflict of interest. And I don't like platformers. <laughs> How about that? And I like card games as well, card based games. The lengthy anime monologues thing. Um, we're in the festival today? It's not a festival that I had to, like, do anything for, is it? Oh, tell me it's not a festival I had to do something for. I will not have this happen a second time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's a f <laughs> about the festivals. Oh, it's the cow festival. All right. Mm, Madam Mayhem. Thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. CNC is how. Oh, I've never played Command and Conquer, but um, scaring me with donations is really fun. That's what October is for. Um, 
Oh, Pandora, I wanted to respond to you. You feel like in books they're not restricted to how lazy the programmer is to develop the universe. I wanted to comment on that, because as a visual novel developer, I know what some of the things that go on. And really, it's... Often it's a matter of being restricted by budget, because, like, you're, you're right. In books, you don't have the same restrictions that you do in visual novels, because you have to pay for every background, you have to pay for different outfits the characters are wearing, you have to pay for the different CGs, or, you know, you have to pay in time. Um, but that, like, scales the game up really fast. And if you plan it out really well, you can get around that, but it really depends on the project. And it also, it also is a thing that a lot of people who make visual novels are not writers first and foremost. Some are, but a lot of them are like artists who also want to do a story or people who like games who decided to get into writing for visual novels. And so a lot of them read differently. But like, I feel what you mean, Pandora, because that's a pet peeve that I have for visual novels a lot, is when you can tell that the story has been constrained by the restraints of the game. So I work really hard in the games that I develop, and if, if I'm given that much creative control and freedom, which I'm usually not, but like, if I am given that much control, I work really hard to make sure that it's that's not a thing. Um... And I think you can, you can like, tell that in Osagao, even though, like, we were pretty restricted by budget and we needed to be very careful. I don't think it feels restrictive at any point. So, like, yeah, that criticism is valid, but I will say that it depends on the game and that there's, there's lots of games that are more bookly. And it just depends on, like, how the project goes and like when if you're going through a publisher when you find the publisher and how much money you have and like were you able to outline the whole thing beforehand or not and yeah it's just like one of those things good night nova thank you for coming okay hang on i'm going back and reading the chat <laughs> Danganronpa? I need to play that one, yeah. Are very limited because you tend to overanalyze and pick apart novels more than you do games or movies. Interesting. Because you're... Do you think you analyze and pick them apart because you're still, like, figuring out your own style as a writer? Or, like, you're still trying to figure out what makes a story good to you? Or... You've never played or read a visual novel? <laughs> well, there's a free one! You could try! <laughs> Working with constraints can be a really good thing. But that's the thing. Even if you are constrained in making your visual novel, you can mold the story in a way where you don't feel the constraints when you're making it. Like I said, we were pretty constrained with Asagao, but I don't think it... I don't think that reads. Um, hopefully. Um, it's just something that, like... And, and, like, that also depends on how much time you have to make the game. Can you push back the release date? Like... Especially if you have a publisher who's, like, funding the operation for you, that becomes very questionable because you can't draw out production because, like, profit margins are very narrow on visual novels because most people aren't that interested in them just yet. And so, like, you know, blah. But it's possible and it's a thing and, yeah. <laughs> is good. It lets reader interpret what they read how they want. Wow, yeah. That's another thing that is a minor pet peeve of mine in visual novels. I mean, like, but I, I am a writer first and foremost. I am a professional writer. I've done a lot of different types of writing in my career thus far. And so I approach visual novels from the perspective of, like, I want this to feel every bit as good of a story as in a book, but just with in a different format and embracing the strengths of that different, like, format. Yeah, there's especially, again, it depends on the game, but there are some games that, like, really force you to interpret the plot or a character in a certain way it, because of how the choices are laid out. You know, you have to, like, approve or condemn a character's actions or... Yeah, depending on the tone and all these other things, there can or can be, cannot be nuance. 
So yeah, I see what you're saying. There's a lot of visual novels out there that have the flaws that you're talking about. And I think it's because... I, again, I'm thinking that it's because a lot of people who go into visual novels at first don't have as much experience with, like, storytelling as a whole. I'm trying to phrase this right, and I'm not sure I'm, I'm communicating it well. But, you know, there's skills that you can bring over from different, from different genres of writing. And depending on what your genre of writing was before you started doing visual novels, if you did writing at all, you'll take those strengths with you. Oh, that's fair, Babylon. Uh, yes and no, Joey. <laughs> yes and no. Yeah, visual novels with other I'll support you. styles of play in them. I like those a lot. Admiral! Admiral has gifted a sub to Pandor. Pandor, welcome back to the fold. Admiral, congrats on 230 subs. Harvest, that's very real. Werewolf, am I working on any new projects lately? <sighs> I have to give the same answer that I've given every other time, which is like, yes and no. It's like one of those things where like, I there's like, there's a specific problem that I'm having and I'm trying to solve the specific problem, but this specific problem is not necessarily one of like, where the more time you put into it, it will get it will fix itself, but it's kind of like a constraint of funding. <laughs> um, so, yes, I am still working on things, and it's possible I'm going to be able to work on things with new people coming up here soon, so those things might actually come out before the other things that I've been working on. Like, there's, like, my games, which are, like, mine and my idea, and then there's other games... The answer is yes. The short answer is yes. <laughs> exactly, Pandor. Uh, FTC, a visual novel is like a choose-your-own-adventure book. With, with varying degrees of interactivity. Because some visual novels are kinetic, meaning there's no choices, they're just a story. Some visual novels have story and it's kind of like strategic. Some are simulation visual novels, and so it's like more of like a dating sim. Um, some are like murder mysteries, and so the choices you make are about that, or you have an inventory with items you gotta find, and they're more adventure games. So yeah, they, there's a lot you can do. Thanks. What's my favorite thing to write about? That's a question. No, Babylon, I fully understand because I... I do that as well, like when I, I, like when I read really bad writing where it seems like the author doesn't care, I get really mad really fast. <laughs> so I feel you. Bye Yellow Ring, thanks for coming! Okay. Um. Right, my favorite thing to write about? God. Oh, no, actually, that's really easy. It's the thing that you can see in, like, in anything that I've written, not necessarily edited, but fiction that I've written. I really like to imagine the interior lives of all of my characters vividly, and I like to write about complex interactions between a person's emotions and their mental perception of reality. <laughs> like the Jacques route in Osagal is a shorthand. Like, there's that sprinkled throughout Osagal, but I think the Jacques route is the most obvious <laughs> place. I like doing that. It's fun for me. I'm a really character-driven writer. I'm very character-driven as a writer. 
Is Life is Strange a visual novel? Most people would say no, but... Basically. <laughs> like, the only difference between Life is Strange and a visual novel is that, like, Life is Strange is A, fully voiced, B, you're a 3D character in a 3D world, um, and C, there's, like, limited amounts of mechanics, but... All three of those things can be true for visual novels, too. So basically, but people get mad at you if you say that. <laughs> witches. She writes about witches. I do do that with actual people in real life, so it makes sense that it comes out in my writing. Doki Doki is a visual novel, yeah. <laughs> I've played Steins Gate. It was a mess. It was very long. You can watch the whole archive. I think it's like 40 hours. It's so long. Am I going to enter my cow? Sure. Never mind. I can't enter a cow. <laughs> Analyze me like one of your VN girls. I would need to... I need to physically see people in person to like truly be able to analyze them usually. Usually. But, like, body language tells you a lot about a person. <laughs> Damn, Jamie, I'm not even competing! Hi, Kurt. I don't get the good and the bad of cows. That's right, because all cows are good. Yeah. Milk has lots of calcium and is an excellent food source, but it hardly matters at all if you don't exercise. Big milk. You don't really like stuff like milk. Especially yogurt. I don't consider that to be food. Alright, announce the results of the contest. Oh yeah, I did break in that. And Gel Nanas. Was Coffee Talk a visual novel? Again, arguably yes. <laughs> what, CC? Hey, Magna Cronus. I mean, I love talking about writing, and I also like talking about development. Both of those things are okay. So if you guys ever want to bring that stuff up or have questions, just let me know. That's like half the premise of this channel, is that when I play narrative-based games, I give my thoughts as a dev and as a writer. It's like the whole dang point. All right, let me actually. No, I can't do that today. Ah, I've heard of Sayana Uta. You're in love with these cows, the spherical cows. It's okay, I'm not gonna check it out. I'm ki I'm not- I'm not checking out that many Japanese visual novels anymore. They were my first introductory, but there's just a lot of, like, uh, cultural differences between Japanese and Western visual novels. I like how they write women a lot more in Western visual novels. I like how they write consent a lot more, <laughs> so I tend to- I'm not yucking anybody's yum, but for me, I grew out of them. I once, I once seemed them in my youth. Yeah, the fan services can can get real bad. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. I want it. <laughs> Even more than that, you are entitled to it, Kate. <laughs> I only ever played VNs. That's that's a lie. I played like one VN that starred a guy. But for Japanese VNs, I only ever played Atomes, which were so much harder to get a hold of. But like generally... <laughs> Yeah. 
well, better, but you know, not necessarily great. It depends on the visual novel, Magna, because a lot of visual novels are, like, partially sims. So if you ever if you ever find a visual novel that has a sim in it, I'd say give it a chance. But I'm biased, because I'm a dev. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Yeah, we're gonna be finishing Jane Eyre on Sunday. I'm hype. I'm gonna alert you guys now. I'm probably going to take a one-week break between the end of Jane Eyre and starting the next book club book. So have have no fear. That's probably gonna happen. Purple just because. Let me see if I can do this on my iPad. I don't have the right app on my iPad, but I think my phone is dead, so <laughs> one moment. I'll just download the app. I'll get it for you, JL. Just give me a moment. I mean, which if you're into that, Kate, it's a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, Long Live the Queen is great. Long Live the Queen is like the Dark Souls of visual novels. Like, good luck getting that girl to survive. Long Live the Queen's premise is about, like, a girl who's who is meant who's a princess her family dies so she is going to be the heir to the throne her mom dies it's like a it's like a mat matriarchal thing um and and like everybody trying to assassinate her so that they can be they can be in charge instead and there's like political unrest and there's all these like like formalities that she and then there's I can't spoil it, but there's like a lot of stuff. It's like, actually though, what if a 16 year old had to suddenly become queen and you had to keep her alive and make her not die? It's great. <laughs> there's so many different endings to that game as well. Oh. I have two hours. I have two more hours. <laughs> short, is, short is four hours. Of next book, or am I waiting till I'm finished? I'm gonna wait until we're finished. I need that week. I need that week to prepare and think. Partially because I think book clubs are kind of wearing a little hard on my health. And so I need to think of ways to make it more doable. Cause I'm having a hard time recovering properly. So yeah, so that's why I need the week to like consider my options. Hey, Apple man. Yeah, it's really fun. And he raises a warlord. You want a surprise for the next book. Interesting. Yeah, but there's like a difference between the cultural differences that you get in an official piece of Japanese literature and the cultural differences that you get in like a light novel. Because the genres are vastly different. I'm fine with one and less fine with the other. <laughs> I'm not sure, it's the physical process of reading it that it makes me very tired. But then if I don't read enough, then like book club streams would take like three months to get through one book and that's super lame. So yeah, I'm, I'm tossing around ideas in my head. America <laughs> to fair. Here, let me, I need to, uh, ah, I need to grab my phone so I can change the color of the lights. One second. Yeah, it's possible I could keep it to just two hours of reading, but then I'd want to pick only shorter books to make sure that we could get through the books. So yeah, it's just like, it's just a lot of like, I need to like weigh the pros and cons for myself personally, and then also what I think 
might be enjoyable n enough for other people, so I'll probably float ideas to everybody. But yeah, that's that's why I'm I need I'm gonna take like a a breather. A to see if I recover, so that I know whether book club was holding me back from recovering or not. And then B, yeah. So that's I'm. It's all experimental. That's what you do when you're not like, there we go, there we go. When you're not a 100% able-bodied person, you gotta play it by ear and experiment a ton. It's like you're a full-blown scientist all the time. <laughs> Ooh, OG RE3. But yeah, Long Live the Queen is a really fun game, really fun visual novel. Easy to recommend as a, like, baby's first visual novel if you're worried you won't like visual novels because they are not interactive enough. Because it's just, like, one of those things you get absorbed into so fast trying to get this dang girl to not die. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Okay, focusing on making friends. A sea spot run. But I am very excited for the end of for the end of the book and then we can discuss the book as a whole. I'm excited. Uh, long live the queen. Which VN is it? Cuz I may might have already played it/know slash about it. Do you like eggs? Here, Bob. Take an egg. Oh! <laughs> Bob is so big. He's just so weird because he's the only one who is this big. Nobody is anywhere near that big. Yes, I have heard of that game. I've had that game recommended to me a lot. I have it, but I believe it's a very long game and that's the main reason why I haven't uh, played it yet. But yeah, lots of people really like it. And I know that lo that like lots of people when I played Coffee Talk felt that that was similar to Valhalla too. Ba -do -ba -do -ba. Who do I give berries to? Was that Martha? No. Berries go to... Dan. I'm not gonna date Dan, but I can befriend Dan. 18 streams. <laughs> I usually try to play like nine hour games in one sitting, but because I would have to read it out loud, it would take a lot longer than the nine hours. <laughs> Admiral. Uh, you like herbs? Yeah? Nice! Nice. Oh, yeah! Then it is a lot like Coffee Talk, yeah. Hey, Blue! Alright, where the hell's Dan? He's over here.
everybody. Yo. Hi. I haven't seen blue anywhere, so I don't know how I'm gonna give him that good egg. Tend to get everyone drunk. The most sadistic visual novel? I wouldn't say Long Live the Queen is sadistic, but it's. Again, it's considered the Dark Souls of visual novels because most of them aren't designed to be very hard. But there are visual novels that are like horror and puzzle games. Like, there's that one visual novel where... Is that Sayanu Uta? Where everything is gore? So it depends on what you mean by difficult to get through. <laughs> oh, I love Harvest Moon. Hey, um, but PSA, I keep forgetting that not everybody knows this. So PSA, for those of you who are interested in trying to play a Harvest Moon game and you want to like, and you're like thinking about getting one, Harvest Moon had a... Harvest Moon was made by a company in Japan called Marvel and translated by a different company in America called Natsume. Marvel decided to stop working with Natsume as a translator and instead work with their own in-house translator, Xseed. So they moved their, the translation of their games over to this other company. However, Natsume owned the brand name Harvest Moon. And so they have been making their own games under the Harvest Moon brand name for like the last uh, three, four years maybe. So the actual Harvest Moon games that are still part of the, from the original developers is called Story of Seasons now. And so the newer games are called Story of Seasons. I would recommend looking into those rather than looking into any newer Harvest Moon games, you'll notice a weird drop in quality and a weird Minecraft aesthetic to the, to the newer Harvest Moon games. And if it's published by Natsume, then that's how you know not to, not to... Not that like they're automatically bad, but I've played them and they're bad, so don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't waste your money. Yeah, yeah. If it looks off, that's probably why. It just like it's so it's so bad cuz like ev Natsume are real people, but Natsume had no experience making their own games until they got the Harvest Moon name and then they like quickly rushed out a game before Marvelous could release a new Story of Seasons game. Which like in Natsume's defense Harvest Moon has always been their cash cow, so if they didn't have Harvest Moon anymore, they would basically fold as a company, as far as I'm aware of, as, like, an outsider. So, like, it makes sense that they are doing this, and I think that they're trying to make good games. It's just that there's nothing in them... Like, I go to Harvest Moon for a specific kind of game, and these new Harvest Moon games are not that. The fold as a company. I don't want to be if I'm if the fold is a company. Oof. Can I be a CEO who's also on the board so nobody can kick me off? Can I be the Mark Zuckerberg who owns 51% of the stock so nobody can kick me out of the company? I'm like not even super paying attention to what I'm doing here. The, the new Harvest Moon games from Natsume kind of resemble Abandonware. And I feel bad saying that because I know that there's people at Natsume who really care and who, like, you know, they're not trying to scam people or anything. They, you know, they had the rug pulled out from underneath them and they're trying their best. 
But yeah. The fold rights of the unwin. Oh, folding as a cut. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Because it's the difference between Minecraft and a Minecraft knockoff. One is good and one is... Does not have the same amount of budget or team behind it to make it as good. Okay, but... I mean, Sims 4 does have a change in tone, but it also has a deep change in game mechanics. Like, just because Sims... Just because, like, one game is a farming sim and another game is a farming sim doesn't mean that they're the same thing. Like, there's Farming Simulator 2018, and then there's Harvest Moon, and they're very different things. Um, how dare. <laughs> you would be a good character, Joey. You'd end up being, like, the narrator. Not the narrator, the, um... Who, whoever helps you with the tutorial. The friendly tutorial helper. I feel like, in the vein of... The phone from Arcade Spirits. The phone spirit. He just told me to give it to somebody else. That's really rude. Sounds like your brother doesn't know as much about games as he thinks he knows. Haha, <laughs> get dunked on! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, the island map can literally break the game in Sims 3. <laughs> Honestly, Magna Cronus, if you're interested in Harvest Moon, I recommend this to everybody. I would recommend checking out Rune Factory instead. Rune Factory is Harvest Moon. It's by the people who made Harvest Moon, but it's geared, it's skewed older in audience. So there's like more complex tones in the story and also dungeons and magic and crafting and like skills skill trees and it's a lot better <laughs> for like age range Oh, that's cute. No, Violet, that's really cute. He needs to put other people down to, to validate his identity. I love that. That's great. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to dunk on your brother so hard. But also, boo gatekeepers. <laughs> Tune Factory! Oh yeah, Rune Factory 4 is so good. I was playing it on stream, uh, like a month? Oh my god, what is time? A month ago? Two months ago? Where are we? When did we get here? Who? How? Okay. Yeah, no, Rune Factory 4 is the best handheld and it's on the switch now so it's like accessible it's the end of may good night volumes thank you for coming you're great! <laughs> Late-ish. Hmm. I feel that, Violet. I'm the same way. Oh my god, we didn't- oh my god, oops! We haven't said hi to the blacksmith, my bad! Hey dude, what's up? You moved in here like almost a week ago. My bad, how are you? 
How you doing? Huh? A customer? Oh, you are a farmer, huh? I'm a blacksmith. Please use my services. I can make your tools better or turn stones into accessories. Grandpa! So, can you use this for something? Is it junk ore? It's junk ore. It's literally called junk ore, boy. Well, that's junk ore. There's no use for that. Shucks. This is my grandson, Tim. Such a troublemaker. He's at that age, you know. Hello, I'm Tim. I'm a future explorer. The caves in this village are really fun. <laughs> yes, they are, little boy. The ore that comes out of there is used to make your tools better. Check the tools in the menu when, when you have more experience points. Stop by. Ah. I'll give you good deals. Keep at it, but make sure that you don't end up exhausted. Um, the B button's at the top because this is a GameCube game. Do, 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 do. I wish I did, though. Wait, what accessories can you make? Hi, dude. That would be so cool. Hey. Cheers, Reptile. My future ex-boyfriend. Oh, damn, alright. He didn't have to go in that hard, but I guess he did. Alright, I need my- I need to take my- how do I get you guys in? Can I- if I ring the bell, will you guys go inside? I don't think you can ring it inside. Nope. All right, the sheep made it in. All right, there we go. And where's my chicken? <gasps> Chicken is real chicken! I think you need to put the- I think you need to keep the chickens inside if you want them to lay eggs. I- I, um... I- I can't- I can't tell you, FTC. Alright, now everybody's safe. Did everybody eat? Everybody but Bitsy. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Ah, I wonder how long it's going to take for these guys to get big. To get buff. I also wonder what other things I can build. Oh goodness. I might end the stream a bit earlier than planned. Because I'm running out of energy and I need some to work. <laughs> We don't work when it rains. 
same. <laughs> okay, so the windmill is what I'm gonna need to be able to make my own um, chicken feed. take two days. Hmm. Oh. Oh goodness, where should we put this? Can it rotate at all? It can't rotate. I could put it up here in between. I could put it like... Down here in the corner? What do you guys think? This is kind of hard. Should I put it here? I can also put it down here. It doesn't look too bad down here. What do you guys think? Left, middle, bottom, right. This is the left. This is the middle. And this is the bottom, right. Somewhere down here. I wonder if you can demolish things. I think I might put it on the left because I want um, left or middle. Yeah, I think I... Mm, hang on. Before I do this, actually, I want to know if I expand the chicken coop and if I expand the barn, how much space they'll take up, just in case. Oh, I can only expand the barn. I can't expand the chicken coop. Alright, I guess I can't check how big it is. Left? Somewhere, somehow. We have two votes for left, one for middle, and one for right, so I'll put it left. Since we don't need to expand the uh, coop. Goodness. I think that like generosity hype train situation. I think it like sapped all the energy out of me. All of my emotional energy. There we go. There you are, friend. Next I can upgrade my house. How much money do I got? In a while. I mean, the breaking is nice. Did I already give you this? No, I didn't. I don't know who I've given what to at this point. I've already spoken to both of them. Yeah. Oh, actually, I wonder if I can get new furniture. Can I have furniture from you? A polka dot bed! Cute bookshelves, a dressing table. I don't have room for any of this. <gasps> a sheet kitchen? A flower kitchen? Oh, no! I need a lot more money. Oh, goodness. All right, let me go find Blue. Oh, there's Bob. I'll just give Bob his egg. Hey, Bob, take this egg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Same. So I can build up a resistance to happiness. <laughs> We're also almost to summer, and in summer I'm going to be able to 
eat food in this game, which means I'm gonna be able to like plant a lot more stuff. I think summer's in like one or two days. Here you go, Blue. Yes. Oh. He hates rain, but like you shouldn't hate rain if you're a farmer. That's all I'm saying. Rain, rain tends to do you some good. How are we doing up here? All right, no new festivals. We got to be on the lookout for. These are my trees down here. Let's go get some herbs. Oh goodness, pardon me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm yawning a bunch now. I knew it. I knew there was a bunch of stuff on this other side. Because I haven't been going to the other side. We haven't gotten a note in a long time either. I'm worried that the harvest goddess is gonna ha just gonna struggle. You start to get notes as you befriend people. But it's been one season and we apparently have zero friends. So. Doing great. Let's go try to make people like us, please. <laughs> the beautiful harvest goddess. Who oh, goodness? Do do do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's Basil. Basil. We gotta get over. Gotta get to him. Take my flower, damn it. Take it from me. Why must you be so far away? Here you go. Rain is a blessing of heaven. Do any of these boys look interesting to you all? Have any of them? I mean, I know Joey likes Bob. Have any of them become appealing over time? We haven't really been able to see any of their personalities or anything, but... Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's his birthday! Ha ha ha, thank you, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, did we just, like, boost our friendship with him by a lot because it was secretly his birthday? Oops. Kurt is your choice. Alex. Hey, mistress! Yay! Alex is almost our friend! That's good. Alex likes us a bit. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the nicest in this game? Ma. Ma, ma, ma. Ma. Do, 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 do. Hey, Grethian! Do, 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 do. I made a, I made an emote that says boss. I was just messing around with pixel art and I made an emote that says boss. Would anybody be interested in that? <laughs> As like, at this point it would have to be a bit badge reward, but hey Dia, be my friend. Damn it, she doesn't like it. What does Dia like? Dia, cause oh, I forgot that Anne exists. All right, Dia likes blueberry jam, emerald strawberry flowers, and coral. Dia likes coral. That's easy AF. Coral, 
Yeah, that's that stuff's free. Anybody else like coral? Gina likes coral. Anybody else like coral? Lila likes flowers and herbs. Maria likes cabbage. Everybody likes flowers. Listen, there's not enough flowers on the face of this planet to give to you all. You like word emotes? Oh, I'm sorry, mistress. The rainbow? The rainbow wee woo. I gotta get some emotes with words in them to you then. Oh my god! It's Nyan! Oh my god, it's Nyan Yoshi! That's- that's- that's good. That's some good stuff. I love Nyan Cat. Oh, you're closed. Everybody always closed, like they got some stuff they need to attend to. The library is all- everything's closed on Monday? I'm just trying to give you guys presents, okay? I'm trying to be... kind. Why are all the girls locked away today? All the girls are locked away on Mondays! Shake my head. No, Magna. They can't. I own this town. Therefore, I also own their personal lives. I did not um, receive a petition for them asking me to have personal lives. So they're in violation. Alright, I need to train up this tool, so I might as well go around doing this. Time to find them. Find them the price of my new... Uh... Windmill. I love how deeply incapable my girl is of wielding any tools. Like, she can barely do anything in a day. She also has difficulty aiming. So many rainbows! I'm so glad they let us keep the pride emotes. It would have been so dumb if they didn't. You're right, Joshua. You're right. I'm about to straight up pass out. De-weeding your lawn is no joke. Wear protection, drink water. Sun protection. The sun is the villain of all skin. Alright, I super hope it's summer tomorrow. Let's go. Damn, that was loud. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Hi! Oh, such shiny hair! Hmm? 
All right, what should we name this little this little little girl? Little gal? What should we name her? Um For some reason I want to name her after like a gem stone? Like like Hmm, what's a good gemstone that like isn't usually used for names? Tiger's eye? <laughs> Chicky? Uh, Topaz? Oh! Topaz is really cute. I like the idea of Topaz. Opal Ruby Citrine? I like the idea of Topaz. I think it suits a chicken to be named Topaz. Yeah. Hmm. Welcome in, Topaz! I do love opals, though. But opals are always on my- Hey, Dev! <laughs> Opals are always on my mind, so they're too common. Ooh, yes! It's summer! Yes, the inn and the cafe are going to be open. Hmm? Joshua Frankson, thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. Oh, I need new land to like plant things on. <laughs> Lusky, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the fold on Lucky Month 13. But, uh, everybody GTFO! Does my horse love me? Brushing note. All right. Because they are your prized animals, groom them with all your heart. A calm and considerate note. G guys, why are you going back inside? Guys! Music is lit. Yeah, that's this is why I was looking forward to summer so much. <laughs> Do they need to be indoors to lay the eggs, Joshua? Do you remember that? I'm I'm struggling to remember. Brown mixed herb? For which game? Alright, hi. I need... Alright, it's closed until 9. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. 
Oh gosh, which one was the cash crop? Which one was the cash crop? Was it corn? I feel like... I need at least one corn. Or was it cocoa? Um... Let me see here. Let me just quickly see if I can look up some crops. But does cocoa regrow is my question? Because corn regrows. Oh, to me, they're, they're basically worth the same amount. So I'm good with either. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure who I'm gonna remarry during this playthrough just yet. We're still... First of all, we haven't gotten everybody. <laughs> but we're still trying to figure it out. Speaking of... Is this where Carl is? Or is this where Katie is? Or is this where... Is this the inn? Welcome! Welcome to the patch inn! So it's you! I'm finally able to run it in! Let me introduce you to our customer's favorite girl! Hey, Gwen! Oh, I wish this game would let you be gay. What is it, Uncle Doug? This is my niece, Gwen. She goes to the racetrack, so I thought perhaps you might recognize her. Of course we've met, haven't we? I'm Gwen. Nice to meet you. Kara, you may not be able to tell, but my cooking is top-notch. Oh no, someone who can cook. A girl who can cook, help me! Please stop by anytime you want. Girl or guy who can cook, I'm fine. I'm fine with either. She does look like a cute demon. Hard day. Do, 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 do. Hey, John. Yeah, so you can eat stuff here and at the other cafe. Yeah. yeah. Wait, does the cafe open? Because this is, this is this one, and then there's the bar, and then there is also the cafe. I'm not sure if the cafe is open yet. Go to church and read her Bible. In the newest story of seasons, you can be gay, finally. Thankfully. La 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 la. Maybe they'll someday remake this game and then we can. Oh, this game remade would be so much better because it would be like faster and more polished and everything would be good. Oh, I forgot that there's heat wave effects in this game. Hello? I can't go in there, yeah. So, do we not get the... Let me see here. Not until fall? That's rude. But at least he'll be around. So we just get these two new ones. We have to wait for, um... If they just remade A Wonderful Life and put more content in it this time. Oh, it's closed today? Damn. Why this game always gotta do that to you? Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, 
Martha, make me a rucksack. Well, if they made it faster and they gave you something to do for the next, like, two to six years that you play it. Oh, we've got at least one heart with her now. How about you, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kai's fine. Oh, Alex is a small town boy. Living in a lonely world. He took the midnight train going to medical school. <sighs> oh yeah, there's berries. Gotta give this to Dan. <laughs> oh, that's such a cute emote. Hey, is Dan here or is he like slacking again? Oh, he's here. Here you go, Dan. I just can't take Dan seriously. Cause ladders in the sky keep on turning. This is all music that I played in marching band. Actually, Wheel in the Sky I danced to for my jazz dance. Uh, uh not class. Course? Kate was there. <laughs> we danced to that together. The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. Actually, actually, let me rethink that. Memories. Yeah. Flute. <laughs> Flute, I was a flautist. Oh wait, right. Oh right, that's why I did it that way. Never mind. No, yeah, jazz dance. Wheel in the Sky was for jazz dance. The other songs were for band. I danced and played instruments. And ran track and did soccer for a bit and uh, have a black belt and <laughs> did theater. I was a very busy child. And gymnastics. And ballet. <laughs> my poor parents having to pay for all this. You were in Color Guard? My little sister was in Color Guard. Color Guard's real hard. She got ripped. Oh, mezzo clarinet's good. I don't like regular clarinet, but mezzo clarinet. I feel like I could play. I can! If I figure out how to do reeds, I could totally play a saxophone because the fingerings are the same between a saxophone and a flute. Mm. Yeah, theater was a club. All of these sports were clubs except for Taekwondo. The dance and the gymnastics were extra, were out of the school, but. Um, and the soccer. But the basketball, and the track, and the theater, and the band. And like the community service club. Man. I really filled my days in high school. <laughs> clarinet was your main? My little sister plays clarinet. To be fair, you know. That might be part of it. Not that my little sister was bad at playing clarinet, but everybody's bad when they first start an instrument. <laughs> I feel the same way about violin because my older sister played violin. <laughs> 100 meters? Yeah, I used to do sprints. I did 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, and I also did... hurdles. I wasn't that good at track, though. I- because I hate running. So I really didn't give it my all. I did win a medal once. 
But I wasn't that good at it. Bye, Apple! Thanks for coming! <sighs> Violin sounds real bad when you're starting off, yeah. It ain't nobody's fault, but it is what it is. Oh, interesting! I didn't know that about alto sax. Although I do know that alto sax is pretty bomb. No clubs? I'm so sorry. We only have the one high school in my town. Um, we had the one high school in my town, which I think is why we had so many extracurriculars and stuff because everybody had to pay. And like our town was decently big. So all of the taxes went to basically that one school. <laughs> mm. Our town was like between, wait. If I say how big the town is. Our town was a decent size. It was very big, but not big enough to get buses. Which might not be very big, depending on your perspective, but... Mm. Damn. Pole? Like... Pole vaulting or pole dancing? Because pole dancing looks so cool. Because I really like that, like, aerial stuff. One of the things, like, I'm not, I don't know that my health would support me doing this, but I would love to be able to do, you know, aerial, um, what is it called? Aerial. With the scarves. So you need so much body strength, which is why I think that my health wouldn't let me do it, but. Oh. Yeah, because it's just like you're flying through the air for both pole dancing and the aerial scarves. I don't know what it's called. You're like flying through the air and it's so <laughs> elegant and it's like half half dance. It's so cool. Oh, dang, Violet. Area silk? Yeah. That would also be expensive. So that's why. But like, I would love if I were just if I were just like me, but retired and healthy, I would go do it. Like if I just had tons of money laying around. I still have some energy, so I'm gonna use it to cut weeds. Damn it! I put away the sickle. Ooh, have a good dinner, yeah. Speaking of dinner... makes sense like you can only really do the pole where there is a pole <laughs> same with the aerial silks i just know that like supporting that that space is going to cost a lot um so i anticipate the class is being a lot more expensive than most and yeah good things I don't know if you grew up in the Midwest, Violet, but like, what's the deal with the Midwest and so much crack? You don't need to answer because I know what the deal is, but like, oh my god, so much. I did do high jump! Yeah, I forgot about that. Not long jump, but like pole vaulting, I did. If there's a different kind of high jump that's not pole vaulting, then no. I wish I was more- I wish I was more agile now as well. I'm like sitting here, I'm like sitting here, and I got like a knee brace on. I'm- I am not what I once was. 
I am not what I once was. That just happened from me sitting, so... Oh, without the pole. Okay, then no, I didn't do high jump. The West also has meth. That's fair. Or the West has meth instead of crack. Midwest has crack. East has heroin. The West has, yes, lots of meth. Also lots of heroin. Seattle has a big heroin problem. Holy birdie, it's so rude. It's so rude. My kneecap was, like, not located properly on my knee. But thankfully, I got this, this, like, it's a really good knee brace, and I'm so glad that I got it, because I've been, I had been debating whether or not to get one for so long, because I'm, oh, they're expensive, it's a waste of money, and I don't like spending money. But then, um... Hello? Oh, I think I know what this is. Hey, you! I'm going on a short trip. Oh, wait, is he leaving? I'm counting on you to take care of the wild animals later. Oh, no! Oops. We lost Terry. We didn't talk to Terry enough. He's gone. That's why the music was sad. Uh, let me see. What do we need to do to get him back? Heck if I know. Have fun on your lurk, mistress. I used to, we, I had a trampoline when I was a kid. Um, and I used to do flips on that all the time. But no backflips, only front flips. I, I wasn't the type of person to play around with backflips. Hmm. Protect your knees! Don't go over 90 degree angle with your knees. You know, your knees should never be looking over your foot that whole situation. Protect your knees. That's just getting old. I hope so. Oh god. Oh god, that's real. Yeah. <laughs> Well, part of the price to pay for having been so active in my youth is that I've just got, like, scar tissue all over my body. I mean, aside from the fact that I'm also chronically ill. I have scar tissue in my hamstrings and in my inner thighs. And it's been getting better since I discovered magnesium. Guys, remember how I talked about discovering magnesium and about how I couldn't physically relax before? I was talking to my science friend to my friend who is a scientist, and she told me that, like, your muscles operate off of two minerals, calcium and magnesium, and calcium makes your muscles tight, and magnesium makes your muscles relax. So if you don't have magnesium in your body, your muscles don't relax, and that explains why I've had such terrible knots all over my body and permanently tense muscles for, like, 10 years of my life. Magnesium is beautiful, and it's gorgeous, and I'm so glad I discovered it. Anyways, I haven't been, like... I, it used to be that I could just, like, walk down the hall, and I would pull one of my inner thigh muscles. But that's not happening so much anymore now that I have the magnesium. <laughs> have I had it broken up with ultrasound? My scar tissue? No, I did go to physical therapy for it, um, and it, like, helped. Do I take supplements? I take a lot of supplements. Tell you more about the magnesium? I take a lot of supplements. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you know, but I have like, I have three chronic illnesses, so I gotta do, and like my body struggles to absorb nutrients properly. So I have to take a bunch of extra stuff to live a normal life. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't know that ultrasound treatment was a thing. Walk down the hall. No, for real. Like, walking down the hall, walking up steps, um, moving to the side. Just like, literally, it would be like the muscle was tight, and I would just move the muscle, and it would pull itself. It was just like, at the slightest thing, because it, because the muscle was so tight, and it also was filled with scar tissue, so like, 
and it was trying to support my knee so even if I wasn't using the muscle directly by like sidestepping because it was supporting the knee I could just yeah it is dumb it would happen all the time Yeah, I, I'm i trying to find what to do because I have been taking this nutritional supplement that's like, it's, li it's like powder and you put it in liquid. So you drink it and it gives you all your nutrients. And that's been very helpful for me gaining weight. Um, but it's really, really expensive. And like, my pills are already very expensive. So thank you for donating to the channel. But like... <laughs> So uh, I've been trying to see, like, I stopped taking it for a while to see how it went and, like, mm, yeah, I, di I wasn't getting all my nutrients, so it didn't go very well. And now I'm just like, well, I don't want to have to pay hundreds of dollars just to have this nutritional supplement every month on top of the hundreds of dollars I already pay for all of my other supplements. So I don't know what to do there because my dang... Cilia. I haven't grown back from all my celiac disease yet. If they ever do. Yeah, Crethian. It's like that. No. No, I wish Bully Birdie. First of all, I only have catastrophic insurance because I'm poor and I... <laughs> I'm not that poor. I'm fine. But I you know, self-employed. Um, and my doctor that I see isn't even in my network and has never been in my network. There's not like, an, not, not covered by any of the insurances I can afford. I did already do that. And yeah, since it's just, yeah, it's not like an officially recognized treatment for any of my diseases. But that's like, that goes into a really, a much longer rant about the medical system and about chronic illness and about how if you have a chronic illness and you're diagnosed with one they pretty much are like all right well you're fucked goodbye and they don't they don't help you um we don't need to get into that rant but you usually have to end up going and doing a bunch of research to find other possible treatments to make your life easier slash livable so that's why my insurance doesn't cover it because it's not seen as a f actual treatments. <laughs> F. Press F to pay respects <laughs> for self-insurance. Celiac disease is crazy. Mm. Yeah. I have celiac and I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis and I also have endometriosis. Triple threat! <laughs> Oh, I feel you on that, Crethian. Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't come here. Even with Canadian insurance, they're still expensive? That sucks. IBS is no joke either. Yeah, IBS is no joke. Yeah, honestly, it's something that I've considered that I've like toyed with in the back of my head is like, what if I just moved to a place where my medical costs wouldn't be so damn high? Cause like at this point, me medical costs are a significant portion of my yearly budget, <laughs> unfortunately. Like paying to see the doctor, paying for all my blood tests, paying for, you know. So I'm like, what if I just lived in a country where I didn't have to do that? That, you know, where that like, yearly expense was cut down by a bunch and then I had excess money to put towards things I actually want to do like making games instead of trying to live <laughs> it's alright the endometriosis has been fully under control for like a year and a half now thank god we found a treatment that works and like I haven't been in pain since we started the treatment, so like, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> you get my streams after work. Yes, Chazzy Zang. Yeah, you feel it. 
Like, I spend... I spend... Uh, I spend... I'm like my- I'm like- uh, for some reason I'm almost ashamed to say this even though I need all of these things. It's like $300 a month for the number- for the supplements that I have to take. And I take like 12 pills a day. And that's not including the expensive nutritional supplement. Which is very expensive. So it's like a- and that's like also not including doctor's visits. It's not- and not including the blood tests and not including- so yeah, like I said, it's a significant portion of what I have to save. It's why I'm a very responsible financial manager. <laughs> I know. I know, right? It is a serious thing. Cheers, this. Oh, that sucks, Violet. She feels- if she found a treatment that worked for her, she'd feel so much better. It's like a bad thing. I hate spending money on myself personally. I can spend money like decorating the apartment because Zek is also here to enjoy the fruits of that labor or I'll spend money on pumpkin. But I'm bad at spending money on myself and for some reason with these supplements and things, my brain is like, that's fun money I'm spending on myself. And so I feel guilt <laughs> for how expensive I am. And sometimes I'm like, maybe I can just not take it and see how that goes and it always goes poorly <laughs> huh bully birdie <laughs> thank you bully birdie that's really sweet of you bully birdie thank you for the twenty dollars you didn't say anything but you didn't have to <laughs> yeah i i'm not like don't get me wrong. I've made peace with the with the way my body is, and I love my body. But like, woof! If I could find a way to like minimize that cost, I would. <laughs> no, no, Shazzy. IBS sounds horrible. Cause like, I you know I can't fully relate to what IBS is, but I know that a lot of people who have IBS get tested for celiac. And so like. I would imagine that similar to the to like how I experience being on like when I eat gluten and how like awful how god awful that is but all the time and so like IBS is not funny it's horrible <laughs> nothing's as fun like magnesium you never know what to say you don't need don't do that anymore <laughs> Kate welcome thank you for coming to welcome Thank you for coming to the Moonlight Cafe! Just go on, Professor Oak Light. I was finally able to open the cafe of my dreams. It's my treat today. <laughs> what a, what a... <laughs> Neat, Shazzy. Have you had to do a bunch of research into autoimmune diseases and stuff too? We might have been on a similar health journey. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Moonlight Cafe. I'm not a guest, Uncle Duke. It's me, Eve. Didn't you receive my letters? Oh, is that you, Eve? Wow, you've become such a beautiful woman. I didn't recognize you. Well, that's very nice of you. Ooh, ooh. My niece, Eve. Isn't she beautiful? She's going to help me with this star. Eve is so freaking pretty in this game. She's a hottie. Even even my girl is stressed. There she goes. So, uncle. Oh, should I call you sir? <laughs> Where's Grandpa Terry? I heard that someone saw him at Sunny Lake, but I haven't seen him today. Uh, he just moved out. Sorry, girl. I see. Eve, I'll put your things in your room, so why don't you rest today? Yes, thank you. Well, see you later. Got it, Chazzy. Yeah, I had a similar experience. It hit me three years ago. 
Uh, Gerard was here earlier. <laughs> yeah, a little Susie roll if you can, uh, yeah, Gerard was here. <laughs> For sure. <gasps> Carl! Oh no! I'm late, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. sir! Hey, what am I to do about you being late on the first day of your job? I'm sorry, sir. Aw, oh, poor Carl. Carl can't manage his time well. Hey, what's up, Kara? I'm gonna work here and save some money. So please keep coming back. Yeah, Gerard's, Gerard's a friend of mine. <laughs> hey, stop jabbering! Oh, wait, how would Professor Opie? Hey! Stop jabbering and come over here! Mm -hmm. Yes, sir! There goes Carl. Carl looks like a super baby, though. Like, I kind of want to... I want to consider dating Carl, but he does look like a super baby. Like, he looks... His diaper looks a little bit loaded, is all I'm saying about him. And everybody comes to the... Everybody likes to drink at night. Hi, Hank. Hi, Woody. So if you miss gift gifting things, this is a good place to come to at night. Oh. Super baby. Hey. Hi, Eve. See, look, she's so pretty. Ugh. I don't super know what her personality is, but she's real pretty. Shazzy, Shazzy, um, I would suggest, just because I already talked earlier about having to, like, look into a bunch of different stuff because, you know, medical science was just like, good luck, bye. Um, a lot of... <sighs> this is where we get, get into weird things. Uh, my... I look at- I use holistic medicine to help me, and it, and like, I've found a lot of help with holistic medicine. You need to keep your eyes peeled, because some people are, yes, trying to screw you over. But also, some people are doctors who've left mainstream medicine because they're mad about, like, mainstream medicine not act treating the symptoms and not the disease. Anyways, there's a theory that IBS is autoimmune related. So... You could try looking into that if you are interested. If you're not interested, don't even worry about it. Just totally don't have to do nothing. Did I talk to Carl? But yeah. Hi. If you're like me and you're like, I need at literally anything in order to help my life go better. I looked into that stuff and it eventually helped, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a big hype train, little sushi roll. Looking into everything. I would suggest looking into the autoimmune and inflammation theories of bodily illness. Because basically, they consider, like, the fact that I have celiac disease, endometriosis, and Hashimoto's, they don't think is an accident. They think that basically the problem is that, like, this is a long, long story, but, like, uh, long story short, inflammation in the body, if your body, if, if, autoimmune has been triggered then it will manifest in a variety of different autoimmune diseases which is why autoimmune diseases tend to come in bunches that's why i have three and not just one because like i had the one and then it probably got worse over time and so more of my body just started manifesting enough symptoms that we call it a disease now but that's why like i mainly have to treat inflammation in my body and also like not eat gluten because gluten is poison to me but I have to treat inflammation in my body, and the better I do that, the more energy I have, the more healthy I am, the less overall problems I have. If if I'm not careful with my inflammation, then I start manifesting not just the symptoms of my own personal autoimmune diseases, but also random symptoms like joint pain, um, any number of stomach issues, migraines, acne, um bloodshot eyes and just like like so many different random muscle pain muscle tearing 
So I would suggest looking into that because it might be something that could help you. I don't know. I'm not a medical professional. Please don't take this as medical advice. <laughs> Welcome back, mistress. Helps to explore options and getting advice from lots of sources. Hmm. Diverticulosis. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's okay, little sushi roll. Don't worry. Something like that will most likely happen again. <laughs> it happens every so often here. Because <laughs> I'm very lucky. Oh, we're just going to be poor for a while. Oh, we got it! Oh, yeah, what'd we get? Oh, I got a note for writing in my diary. Sometimes your actions have to be bold, or sometimes prudent or discreet. A note obtained writing in your diary. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, the hill to 10 mil! You can do it, Crethian. Also, mood. This is why I don't play a lot of games on my PC unless I'm streaming, because I'm like, oh no. I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna save in a new file. Because... This is a competition and I need to win it. Because you get a power berry if you win it, and I'm not gonna lose to Jamie again. Uh, Crethian, if... I would suggest, um, you can order it online. It's called Calm. That's what I use. It's, it is a magnesium supplement. You have to be careful, though. Like, please follow the instructions and, like, start with a small dose and then go to a, a large dose. It's just, like, a powder. You put it into a cup and then with warm water, um, it, like, fizzes a bit. You mix it in. You add regular water. You drink it. That's what you do. Don't take more than it says on the bottle. Start slow, because that stuff can give you the poops if you take too much. And, like, that's no good. But that's what I did, because I, I took magnesium pills, and since my body has trouble absorbing things, it didn't really do anything for me. So the powder form worked. But a lot of people take that to help with their anxiety, actually. Um, because magnesium has been shown to help that in some cases. Again, nothing I say on this stream is medical advice. Nothing. Talk to your doctors. Disclaimer. Good, 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 good. You have to avoid gluten too. That's what I've heard, yeah. Is that IBS is... You, people tend to have to avoid da dairy and gluten. I have to avoid dairy and gluten. I had to go on a elimination diet on an AIP diet in order to figure out the foods that upset my body. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Bitsy. Hey, Butter. Hey, Topaz. And Cutie. Nice, JL. Man, you guys, we're gonna kick the gold event's butt next time. Yeah, screw Jamie. You have the right idea, Kate. But yeah. Also, if anything that I say about medical stuff sounds weird to you, you know, research your own stuff. I say I... I'm not a doctor, and I, like, mean that. But at the same time, I do want to share some of the fruits of my own journey because it was very long and very expensive. So if I can point people to, to things so that it's shorter for them and less expensive for them, that would be amazing because it was thousands of dollars. <laughs> so once again, thank you all for your help. <laughs> oh dear. All right, this is gonna be a mini game and it's actually a pretty hard mini game. So please be nice to me if I fail. Hey, Climbing Dan. 
I have a I have a hero slot, but it's cost me twenty five million to get it. Oh, different types of sugars. Have you heard of um pod map? If it's different types of sugars, that might be something to look into because that's about different types of sugars. It's about avoiding fructose in particular. Mm, I feel you, JL. It's annual beach festival. Let's be careful in the ocean and swim to our hearts content to gain stamina. <laughs> to gain that power berry, you mean. This this thing has a really long cutscene too. So if I mess up, I'm gonna have to watch the cutscene again. Bod map, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Good luck. That's hard. Honestly, Dan, I don't. <laughs> I don't blame your wife. I had to go off of it earlier than anticipated because I wasn't getting enough calories. Also, AIP is so hard. It's Honest to God, it's one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life, and I had help from Zek, so... Hmm, the beach festival is a swimming festival. Yeah, Nami's in this game! Have you heard of AIP Shazzy Zing? Because maybe that's the missing dimension. Everyone seems so full of energy. Are you going to enter too? Yes. Not a personal chef, but yes. I see. Do your best. Very helpful. Huh? My name? It doesn't matter. AIP is called the autoimmune protocol. Essentially what it does, it's very intense. So please prepare before you go on it. If you go on it. But essentially, it takes all of the possible foods out of your diet that could possibly cause inflammation to the body, like that you might be sensitive to. And then you stay off of it for a while, give your body time to like normalize. And then once you've normalized, you reintroduce things one by one so that you can figure out which thing makes you sick and which thing doesn't. I went on it and that's how I figured out that dairy makes me sick and egg whites make me sick. And also, too much brown rice makes me sick, but jasmine rice is okay. And sugar, also sugar makes me sick. I can have very low amounts of sugar, but if I have like over 20 grams in a day... Huh? My name? It doesn't matter. She, um, if you have a TV, Nami is the weather person on the TV in this game. It's Nami. Well, usually I'm called the weather girl. See you later. Um, oh, can somebody give Dan permission? I hardly ever swim. I guess it's okay once in a while. Swimming is a sport that's good for your health. Maybe I'll join in after I put on some sunscreen. Hey, Alex, a man after my own heart. Okay, here's hoping that I can catch a big one. Oh yeah, I forgot that Joe loves to fish. Hey, Anne. How nice, I want to swim too. Huh. Huh. Of course I'm gonna come in first. Why don't you go home before you drown? All right, like, damn, you didn't have to. Oh, hang on, let me see if I can... Uh, did I do it? All right, I think I, I think I, I think I save stated. So, I'm sorry. Here, let me uh, let me permit you. Hopefully, this will work. Yeah, there you go. Let's do this. Welcome to the swimming festival. Pre press the A button to swim and touch all four colored buoys to finish the race. The currents change from time to time, Freddy. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. This is hard, but we're gonna do this. Oh, yeah, I'm right next to a buoy. Hell yeah! Come on, ay, 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 No, 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 I got caught in a whirlpool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ay, 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 ay. Girl, swim! Why aren't you swimming? I'm pressing the A button. Oh, my God. 
my god. Come on! No! 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 I need it! I need it! Okay, I got it. Oh, another whirlpool! Oh my god. This game is- this game also controls like ass, I'm just letting you know. Come on! Alright, I just need to go down there. Move your ass, Basil! Come on. I'm so far ahead of Jamie, there's no way that they could win. Oh my god, the others could win! Come on, Basil, don't get that green. You don't need that green, Basil. No, Whirlpool! Come on! Come on! No! Why? Why? No! No, no, no! Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! I had such a head start! Oh. No! Basil beat me! Did Basil beat me? hell man are you kidding like by a second oh would you look at that the game glitched oh my god that's so weird um i don't know about crashes harvest but the game sure does have some weird little glitches like that it's almost like you need to win here to progress oh my god i guess we gotta win then let's do it you know keep your spirits up all right, let's try this again. Ooh! Oh, they're in the same... Is there also going to be another... No! Oh. Uh. Why are there three whirlpools and they're all next to me? And they get the faster currents now? This is bull. No! Oh, I hate this game so much. I hate this stupid mini game. Come on. Come on, I just need to get the blue. Yeah, you all better be trapped in that whirlpool. You jerks. If I can just beat Basil. Oh, whirlpool. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. That was easy peasy. First try. Not your fault this time. Ah. Uh, that's a good, that's a good one. First try, boys. berry and grow stronger <laughs> like like an offering to a deity please eat this power berry and grow stronger come yeah. this concludes this year's beach festival good work everybody Festival to wish for the safety of the sea and good health. A note played by the blue sea. Hmm. It's fine. Powerberries from Pokemon? I don't know. They've been in Harvest Moon since like the very first game, which was on NES or Game Boy. Well, hell yeah. Look at how much bigger our bar got down there. Whoop. 
Dang straight. Well, how about we go deliver our last, uh, our notes? We'll get some new notes. And then, and then I might end this stream there, you know? That kind of feels like a good place, a good place to end. So Pokemon stole it? Maybe they're just like a concept in Japanese culture, because I swear that this isn't the only game I've seen them in, but... Well, Stardew Valley has them, but Stardew Valley ripped off this game. Not ripped off. Was inspired by. So... But not power berries. Suddenly whirlpool. Congratulations, yeah! When you collect five notes, they become a musical instrument! What instrument do we have this time? What will grow in this garden? A harpsichord? Is that a harpsichord? Instead of a piano? Oh no, it's a piano. They turned into a piano, yeah! Alright, what does the piano bring with it? <gasps> Flowers! I want you to collect more notes, yeah? Nice. We're doing it. We're really doing it. Uh, I thought we beat Minish Cap, Dan. <laughs> Damn it. Don't, don't drop the weeds. If you pick up a weed, don't drop it back down on public land. Everybody gets mad at you. But if you plant a tree on public land, everybody loves you, so. I guess group project from when we have too much money and we don't know what to do with it. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the dream. <laughs> Oh yeah, we finished the Minish Cap randomizer la last week? Last week. All right. Beautiful. So, let me swap over to IRL very quickly as we wind down the stream. What a successful end of end of the game. Oh, I'm so, I'm so pale in the IRL. Oh, goodness. Let me, uh, do this and do this and do this. Why am I so pale? Let me make the light a little warmer so I don't look like I'm dying. <laughs> uh, if you're hooked on a game, you should let the game, you should let the game. Oh, yeah, the blue light in the background is probably, that's probably part of it, yeah. Let me see, is that loud enough for you guys? Can you hear the music? I'll turn it back up. But yeah, we're gonna wind down the stream. So would everybody like to share one good thing that happened to them today or one good thing they're looking forward to tomorrow? Um, this stream ended up being a surprise, surprise, happy deluge. So how about that? Thank you, Dawn. I hope I didn't curse too much and poison the young minds. <laughs> Thank you for the 400 bits. You did absolutely nothing today and it felt great. Bless. <laughs> God, those days when you do nothing but feel amazing at the end of the day, I live for them. <laughs> live. Oh, you missed your first daily Nook Stop visit yesterday. So your good thing is going to be restarting that and beginning the terraforming on Animal Crossing. I guess that means that all of your rocks came in. Best of luck with that terraforming. Best of luck. <gasps> you got a 90-minute massage? 
I am very jealous. That is a very good thing. Massages are no joke. Massages were the only thing that could relax my muscles before I started taking magnesium. Amazing. You're looking forward to therapy. That's great. Therapy has helped me so much in my in my time. Therapy is great. I hope you have a, a um, productive session. Looking forward to working on your trivia more tomorrow. Kate, you gotta throw some questions in there for me. You gotta do it, Kate. <laughs> Please. I wanna win one. <laughs> You're welcome, Markitin. You managed to win that Lufia 2 event you made the tracker for? Hell yeah! I guess preparation really was key. You deserve it after after putting in all that effort to make that tr tracker. And I saw it, and it was really cute, actually. <laughs> you got your physical therapy set up and dealt with paperwork, so that was nice. Ah. Oh. Good luck with your physical therapy. It's hard, but like, it's definitely worth it. I used to not be able to sit in a chair without pain before my physical therapy, and that's not a problem anymore. So I hope that things progress very well for you in your physical therapy. Oh, you had your headphones on? Okay. Whew, good. Good. The young minds will be poisoned eventually anyways. Yeah, but I, I don't want to personally poison them. You know, I don't want them to remember me as the reason they were poisoned. You ordered prepared food from a local farm. Prepared food from a local farm? That's a great idea. Oh my god, that's a great idea. I have a friend who's a farmer, and they always have so much extra produce on farm, on, on farms. Preparing food that people can order is such a good idea. Oh, mac and cheese for dinner. I'm so hungry. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. I'm glad you had a great dinner. All six are in place. It's beautiful. I'll have to come visit someday. Yeah, I will. I'll have to do like another roundup of all of the fold places. Night off work today. Did a huge cleanup yesterday in the main room. And you have a rubbish skip so the house looks and feels cleaner. What's a rubbish skip? I don't know what that is. Plus, you're going to chill and play Assassin's Creed Odyssey and counting down to your five weeks off work. Damn, Crethian. That's nice. That's a lot. That's stuff you did yesterday. That's good. Stuff tonight. That's good. Stuff in the future. That's good. You got your bases covered. <laughs> your good thing is your second day off tomorrow. I hope your second day off is equally good. Fun. You threw me some bones. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. I need the bones. I'll, I'll n n lap them up and gnaw on them. Time off work is perfectly timed for Xenoblade Chronicles. Ooh, yeah. God, I need to play that. I'm going to be playing that. Probably not on stream, but I'm going to be playing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are done. You just finished your lemon bars? You. I hope the lemon bars taste really good. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that we're ending the stream just as you finished, but yeah, I needed the short stream today so I can get back to work. Uh, and and like my plan is to have the thing I'm working on now finished by Thursday. By the way, real quick, Errant Kingdom on Thursday. It's a story-based game. It's a visual novel, but a dating sim with like demons. And also assassination plots, so it's very intense. Um, the prologue is up on the Archive channel. It's only like three hours long if you want to catch up before the stream on Thursday. Bye, Kate. Thanks so much for coming. Hopefully it does work. You have eight weeks of it. Uh, I hope it does work, too. I think it's likely that it'll work. Plus, she went over to Holly's stream because she's starting to read a book. Oh, wow. More book streams? We need more books on this planet. It's a huge bin designed to remove stuff like damaged furniture, flooring, and oversized boxes. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, I know what that is. I didn't know that that's what you termed it, where you are. Once this quarantine business is open and you're no longer considered essential, you're going to take such a long vacation as you should. And you deserve it. And, like, mm, they should give you one. The trouble of weight loss with the diet change because you lost a ton of weight from it all. It's good for you because you were fat and now you're not. Uh, yeah, my problem is weight gain. I struggled to gain weight, so. S similar but different. Back for the end. Hey, Violet. Do you have your good thing? Yeah, we're doing good things. 
They're still warm and... <gasps> Lemon barf served with vanilla ice cream? Hang on. Warm... <laughs> Hang on, I can taste it. Warm lemon bars served with vanilla ice cream. Both of those things I can't eat, but both of those things I viscerally remember the taste of. You know how to treat yourself. <laughs> Will do, Suihaku. I had you at demons. Sexy demons that you can date. And also non-binary demons. So, non-binary humans? I'm forgetting who is who. I'm also forgetting who we wanted to date. I think y'all wanted to date Lucian real bad. Lucian is like blue skinned with gold makeup and he's got like, they, I believe they were the non-binary non one, but they've got like stars, stardust sprinkled on their skin. Oh my God. And then when they're out in front of humans, they're black with gold all over. It's, it's, great design for a character so yeah if you want to see that on thursday pretty sure we're going to be going after that hot booty maybe Ooh, the hobbit nice a skip over in australia thanks harvest 10 words is better than zero good luck uh the bar i'm assuming it was made with gluten Lemon bars are incredibly delicious. Oh man, yeah, man. You just get to you just get to reap the rewards. I'm jealous, but I also understand that position as a person living with a person who loves to cook. <laughs> Strongly considering having a supper tonight. Sweet potato doll? I don't know what doll is, with turmeric and garlic and noodles and cut up sausages. Oh my god, that sounds really good. And also turmeric and garlic are very anti-inflammatory. Very good for you. Sweet potato is also very good for you. All that sounds very good for you and also delicious. You remember them? Good. Yeah, they have galaxy skin. Lucian, Lucian was the one who like seemed to, like they might be a little bit evil. Yeah. So, but I believe they were the one that everybody wanted to date. Um. And then, but then there was also, oh, but then there was also the girl. I don't know. We still have to vote for who we're going after, but I'm pretty sure that we were leaning towards Lucian. Like that one elf from Dragon Prince. You think you have a lemon bar ice cream recipe somewhere and it could be altered to be gluten and dairy free? Interesting. I don't mind alterations in recipes to make them safe for me. Doll, a dish made with lentils or other split pulses. Oh, lentils, interesting. I actually, I can't eat quinoa or lentils, and I can't have too many chickpeas either. All things that I learned through AIP make my body a little weird, but, and it's, and it's a shame because they're delicious, you know, it's delicious food in the world. It's an Indian dish. Damn. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm going to go eat so much freaking food. I'm so hungry right now. All right. So. Um, let's see. Oh, there's, I'm sorry. I'm looking for somebody to raid and there's a lot of different people streaming once again. Goodness. Okay. I'm going to pick the three, the three people who have the lower amount of views. So would you guys be interested in Terraria, Sonic All-Stars Racing, or it is a retro game? What is this retro game? Um, a retro game called Senti? I don't know what Senti is. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the game to like. I, there's an ad, so I'm waiting through the ad to try and see what this game is. Is it called Senti? Crusader of Senti is the game. It's an it's an old school Genesis slash Mega Drive game. So, good night, Dan. Good night, little sushi roll. Thanks so much for coming. We'll be streaming longer on Thursday, so you'll be able to see, catch more of it then. Probably. Ah, uh, hey, Zach. We're just about to raid. I hope we're having a good day, Zach. I hope I hope you and Karen are doing well. <laughs> I hope that the renovations and everything is going smooth. Good, good. Sleep well, Harvest. It's not Shantae. It, yeah, it's not Shantae. Nobody's playing Shantae. There's 
um, Terraria, Sonic All-Stars Racing, and Crusader of Senti. <gasps> Your birthday's Thursday? That's awesome! Oh, cool. Okay. That's fair. Have a very happy birthday on Thursday. Happy birthday! No, yeah, no, no worries, Violet. Dealer's choice. Yes! I would love to see it! I would love to see it. And also talk to you guys, and visit you guys, and hang out with you guys! I miss you both. I miss you both. I've been thinking a lot about, like, what Karen is up to. I think because she's tweeting about aesthetics, and so I've just been thinking a lot about, like, damn, I wonder how well, like, Karen is doing decorate map place. I bet that she's gonna do amazing. <laughs> and I've just been thinking about it, like, damn. Senti? Alright. Well, we have one vote for Senti, <laughs> so... Oh, you did! Alright, cool. Let's check it. it. Is this Crusader of Senti? Because it definitely looks like a racing game. Is Crusader of Senti a racing game? Is there just racing in this? Oh my god, I think there's just racing in- What the hell is this game? Uh, yeah, I'm- Yeah, so we're gonna be- We're gonna be raiding the Salonium because I have no idea- No, this appears to be Senti. There's racing in- In it. This is weird. We're gonna- We're gonna raid the Salonium because this is an old school game and I think you guys will find it interesting. Got it. So, it's a Sega Zelda clone. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to pop in and take a look at that super bizarro. Like, I even just looking at this, I have so many questions about this game, frankly. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a look at it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream and hanging out. And for destroying me. <laughs> um, I don't believe that Gerard is here anymore, but just once again, thank you, Gerard, for being very sweet. And also thank you to all of you for also being very sweet and turning the chill stream into a hype stream, as usual. <laughs> Thanks. You guys are also great, too. Anyways, I will see you guys on Thursday at 3 p.m. PST. And that's all I have to say. So, rating in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Boom.